They also start with, I don't know, probably just a little dagger, but I probably wouldn't stick with the little dagger they start with. And, oh, they start with two weapons now as well, I think. Where are the Coglins advanced? Brigands, there we go. Yeah, so I start with fighting skills, throwing skills, short blades. Might just get a bit of fighting for a while, and then I'll decide what to get. Um, plus two dagger to plus zero dagger. I mean, the plus zero dagger is probably relatively easy to replace. There's a sling there. If I... Ooh. I don't just immediately die. Um, I could try and grab that sling. It's not worth using unless I get two of them, though, unfortunately. Alright, and for now, I might just get on the ring mail. So I got three armor class, ten evasion. I, I get, like, three armor class when you lose one evasion. That's not too bad. What's my starting damage? Uh, six of the... Uh, four, so basically ten. They have double takes armor class, that's not too bad. Most of the starter creatures don't even have any armor class, like the little bats and stuff, so doesn't really matter at this point. The double takes armor class. I put on this armor, oh, I gain an evasion, lose 1.6 evasion, so it's not really worth it at the moment. A nice thing to get with Cognitive is like a Dagger of Venom, but surviving the initial creature that has the Dagger of Venom can be pretty rough. Um, I'm gonna get Dex. I have thoughts for a recursive cryoscope. How is it recursive? Like, I kind of know what that word means, but I'm not sure what it means in the, in the context of like a. Uh, like a mechanical device. That's Kiku, Nebelix, and Wujin. Wujin might be alright, but I don't... Uh, Nebelix might be alright. I hope you find a good Demon Blade or Double Sword. Yeah, those are the pretty fun. Ooh. Do I just go Quasol? I want to go Quasol. <laughs> I can never resist the Quasol. I've been Quasol for a while either. And they do kind of get the, like, sort of give the resist, which is alright. They don't start off that good, but they get a lot better once um once you get a god abilities. Am I any good with the invocations? Probably not. Oh, minus two. That's a little bit of a shame, but oh well. Would a short sword be better than a dagger? I feel like they use they require the same skill to use. It's just less accurate, but does a little bit more damage. I don't know. Oh hey, Sigmund. Um if I wanted to find him, I'd want a corner they could pull him around. He's not really in a good spot. I think I might just leave him. Oh, it's an Hamlet. Good old Hamlet of a flash. That would actually be kind of nice, that one. You know what? I might wield this dude's short sword. Um... Okay, got Formative Prism, Mystic Blast. Is that like a Book of Conjuration or something? It feels like the start of Conjurer book rather a lot. A Drink of Dags. I do need the Dags. Hey, oh no, it's a shield. That would be really good for pretty much every other character, a tower shield. But not for this character. Well, I guess mages probably couldn't use a tower shield early on because of the penalties. No, the Cognitive's not going to be able to use that. Hey, Wadaz, how's it going? I am going alright. Uh, it's a moss shield, who cares? I'm a Cognitive, I don't use those. Or it says any device that triggers itself, or more specifically, any system that triggers itself, is considered recursive? No, that definitely sounds like the... Right, no, I guess that would make sense with um, physical things as well. Oh, a heavy slug. I think I'm going ranged. Um... Yeah, let's do it. I've got a couple of basic slings. I mean, they probably don't do that much at the moment, let's see. So, 16 damage and 8 damage, but with a 1.7 attack delay. <laughs> so, not a good attack delay, but good damage. Right, because the, like, the context I've heard of recursive is like, uh, with functions and programming, if they call into themselves, then they count as recursive. Um, so I guess it's the same sort of thing. Also, where's this rushing water headed? Uh, two dolls. 
Oh, was I don't want the auto pick up on that scroll, but it's probably fine. Um, gotta back up a badge. Even just one of those nulls still do quite a bit of damage. I'm very distant from the drain. Okay, so basically in the just straight up wrong part of the level. I guess that's fine. Uh, okay. Oh, this guy's hurting quite a lot. I don't think it's poison resistant. So I'm going to try Curari it up. Oh, what's, what am I doing? I'm hitting with the, oh, I'm hitting with the wrong thing. Um, there we go, that's better. For some reason I was shooting poison darts at it instead of, uh, throwing my sling in it. That's fine, I guess. Hey, man, car. I don't have much to, like, damage him with. I can't cure Arium. I guess I'll just try and sling him. Ooh, we're both going down on health quite fast. Oh, he sped himself up. Thank goodness. Very distant still. So the drain is very distant from here, very distant from here. I guess it's probably just on the right side of the level, but it's, uh, it's running out of time. Yeah, well, I'll still try to get to it. It's very distant from here, here, here. I don't know, could this be? I mean, I guess I'll go down this way. It's not really this way, is it? It's probably just like really far off one of the edges uh, of the map. I try going this way. No, nah, it's a dead end. Still very distant. That's kind of a shame. Um, Maybe it's just up a long way. I actually have absolutely no clue this time around. Or it could possibly be. Hey, here it is. Yeah, it's just like off to the edge of the map. Makes sense, I guess. Oh! Ah, it's collapsed. Very real weird, yeah. I mean, I would have thought the one when I was around here somewhere would have said it was least it was distant or something. But, ah, uh, oh well. I'm just slightly too slow at getting to it, I guess. That's my attack to like go down at all. 1.4, yeah, it's going down pretty fast to get skill. Hey, Edmund. Nine or oh, seventy damage or something? Uh. Oh, he's uh, no longer Curari. Let's try to get them go with that one again. Okay. Uh, Curari's doing a lot of damage to him. There we go. That killed him off. I might just get more range, more fighting. Those both go fairly well together. Just get my damage up. I'll the. Thermo Widget. Sure. Something that's got to do with like heat and cold, but it's not very descriptive what it does. <coughs> the mean flail, the flail of draining? Yeah. Oh, hey, this has the sand. But unfortunately, you can't really go like one melee, one ranged. Doesn't quite work. Um, I got also three scrolls. Maybe I should read something. Okay, distant. Alright. You sort of don't really have an idea of where you need to go until you get the second distance marker. This is not really working. Um, try shoot it again. Oh, oh freaking potion. Oh no, degeneration. No, okay. I gotta. No, it's not very good at heading. I tried another potion. Two hit points. Oh no. Oh, save you up for either that time or pick a combo there, Jeepicus. Well, if I might die soon, so you might be able to pick a combo. Oh, that's not good. Um, I don't think the curing did enough healing. I've just got a that's so only not a very good chance of heading. 44%. I just gotta try. Oh, thank goodness. One of the bolts hit it at least. Our sand is nearby, but I gotta heal up a bit. I can't be running around like this. Alright. Now I can go running back. 
I don't need the boomerangs because I'm going, uh. I'm full on ranged here. Uh, I've probably got tons of junk to drop, like this old shield and stuff. And the old armor. Old daggers. Old poison darts. Alright, let's go in. Alright, I'm gonna shoot the mummy. Ow. Ooh, right, that guy drags me around. Thought he was done? Yeah, with uh, that uh, damage. But no, I did hit the guy, thankfully. Um, Try shooting the... Oh. Ow. It's slow, but... If I run back, you're going to see more guys. Oh, I'm just leaving. That's a shame. Like, if I had been a spot to run around, I totally would have been able to run away from those guys and keep on shooting them, but I didn't have anywhere to run, so I was kind of in trouble. Uh, Javelin might have some use, but I reckon without skill, it's probably not that good. Oh, Oh, grab it. It was a smart choice. Yeah, I reckon it was the only choice I could have made that would have um, ended me surviving. So it was kind of kind of all I could have really done, I think. Also, I've got four of a scroll. I should go read it. I oh, yeah, teleport. Good. Um, I've got three of these. I might go read it. Fear. Oh, it's good to know about. It's probably fine. I've wasted one. Oh, hold on. Oh, I don't have cold this. I could read my other stack, I just want a waste of blinking or something, or something good, but it's probably fine. It's a lot of stuff. Um, hold on. Why do these guys have a pull up, which is maybe not the best? I do have a um, fear, and I do have some curare. But I don't think, well, I'd use the Curari, which is fine. But I don't think I'm going to need fear. So I have daggers and venom for a bit. I was stuck with, like, the daggers or something. Uh, that doesn't work with the ranged rounds. So get, get more dags. Keep that one going. Frog's definitely faster than me. There we go. That's better. It's 14th level where I get a gizmo, right? So I think it's like near the end of uh, lair, generally. And those are often where you get your first resist, but it's really hard to decide then. Does the loudness of Quasno ever bite you? It certainly does sometimes. Um... <laughs> But it will probably be... Yeah, I mean, it's probably not that good right now. Uh, okay. You know what? I will read the fear. I should actually try it at some stage to get the abilities going, although I only have upheaval, which is not that special. Um... Please drop some armor. Oh, I didn't drop the armor. I could use this armor because I don't think my robe's doing anything. Nope. Leather? Nope. Alright. Ooh, hold on. Temple. I have Quasl. Ah, that doesn't really matter, but I'll, I'll take it up in the temple. Alright. Not a, not a fancy temple or anything, so there's nothing to gain from that one. Oh, you think I should do a demigod? Delva. Oh yeah, I will add that to my list to do next. I don't forget. Oh. Right, I have noted the Debbie God Delva. Well, oh, plus nine blade armor of resist electric. That's a shame of an archer. Maybe I should have stuck with the swords after all, but never mind. Also, I don't have Identify yet. I should probably check out some of these scrolls again. 
Come on, hey, there we go. This is my dead fight. So I've got a potion of magic. Oops, I think I did the wrong one. Vulnerability is fine, though. Poison's good. Apparently, I've got resist to that or something. No, I don't. Why was it not showing it in, like, a uh, purple or something there? I guess it shows in purple in the... No? Oh, Quasol! Right. Uh, Quasol lets you walk in clouds without any harm. This is not going great. I don't think Paralysis does very well. I think I might just shoot it again, actually. Because, yeah, it's almost dead. I mean, I can't even ask you if there's, like, any special god you want to go with or a demigod Delver. But I guess I can ask, like, if you're uh, about weapons. Because I know demigod are good with dex ones, so probably either some sort of sword or bow. I do want a blinking. That sounds really nice. Probably a revelation as well. Not yet shot on telepods, right? I got four of those, which is plenty. Same with a fear, I think, of five. Oh, no, I'm down to one fear. I might grab one of those. Um, I just want to identify some of my stuff. All right, let's go do the scroll, enchant weapon, enchant armor, and immolation. So the enchant weapon's kind of awkward because I don't have any sort of decent one-handed weapons to really enchant. But once I get one, I guess I can start enchanting them. That's a good choice. Delves seem to be one of the hardest. Yeah, definitely, definitely do. I mean, Sprig and Delvers uh, do a bit better because they're fast, but a lot of the Delvers, even once you get up to the first level of the dungeon, you don't always feel the toughest. They don't feel like they start with the best equipment. So they're definitely one of the challenge backgrounds. Oh, jewelry. Yeah, well. I guess I won't worry about that. I got a good digging paralysis. I might. I don't know. If, I don't think it's worth getting skill just yet. Oh, that's too much stuff. I gotta read the... If I read the poison, I'll probably be fine. Yeah, especially if these guys don't move. That makes my life a lot easier. I know where the staircase is, right? Okay. That's not doing as well as I'd like. Can I just, uh, Curari? There we go. That's better. That's why it's a good choice for you to play. Not, uh, not so much for you there, Gazeward. Fair enough. I wonder what Delvers I've managed to win. I feel like I've still got quite a few Delvers to go. Let me take a look. Delvers. Uh, I've already done some. I've done some Arbitors. Baratio, I guess, makes sense for the hop. Genie, Draconian, sure. Feel it? Oh, okay. Gargoyle, hello, human. Kobold? This is kind of a random assortment. Minotaur, Octopod, Spriggan. I'm surprised I managed to get an Octopod one. How many tries does that one take? Only 12. Huh. I must have got a bit lucky because I know the, uh, I often die with the Octopods. Oh, the Arbitor Conjurer is hilarious with the uh, Mystic Blast. I've heard about that, how you like, uh, push people back and then rampage at them for the magic region. I don't know if I ever got one going, though. Ah, uh, push and resistance is good. Oh, I definitely can't fight these guys. Those are really nasty looking, like, full-on, um... Ugly things. Uh... I wonder whether any of the gizmos on these guys are being rebalanced. Well, they seem to remember some of uh, gizmo effects seem to be quite a bit better than others from previous attempts of these coglins. I guess I'll find out in four levels or something. Presuming I survived that long, which hopefully I will. Uh oh, I better go up. So many yaks. I could probably just bring them up staircase one at a time. Orange demon likes poison you, right? Um, won't follow the staircase. It's probably fine. I gotta try like five dodging, see if it makes a difference. Also, I just got like quick silver one, so I might just get uh oh, I might get the evocations and the invocations up to five. That's uh sort of broaden my skills just a little bit and then I'll get straight back into the whole range side of things, I guess. 
Anyone watching Fallout? I kind of wouldn't mind watching that one. I haven't given a look yet. What's it on? Like, is it on... I don't know. <laughs> I do not know any, like, streaming services that uh subscribe to at the moment. But... Amazon Prime. I'm sure there was something else I wanted to watch on that one as well. Man, I need to start, like, a list of things I want to watch. It's so awkward, like, with those various streaming services. You never know where anything you want to watch is. Alright, is this arm pretty good? That's four more armor class. Um... Tag delay is 1.1. 1 1.1, .1. 1 .1, it didn't need to slow it that much. Oh. Hold up. I'm gonna read a poison scroll. Okay. <laughs> That's a bit better. That definitely holds those guys at bay for a bit because bees hate poison. They're vulnerable to it. Oh, Zark Blade? Unfortunately, not right for this character. Oh, it's way, way better than you're expecting? Yeah, I've heard good things about it. I should uh, definitely. I don't know, I should like. I can't remember what the other thing was. Um. That I was wanting to watch on Amazon Prime, but I know there was something else. Let's write a note of like things I would have watched on Amazon Prime because I'll probably grab like a. Month of it at some stage. Alright, I don't need the teleports yet, but I will grab one of these wands and see what it is. Roots, alright. Now that I know what these are, they're all like different costs and they're more expensive. Uh, seven roots, I actually got a decent one. Glad I didn't just get the one with two charges. I think they were like initially the same price before I identified them. I'm just going to back up a bit here. Good, I do know about the staircase. I could probably split these two yanks up unless I stuff things up horribly. Well, three yanks, I guess. I'm getting a design for a dynamic geo gig. What's a geo gig? Um... <laughs> Like, most of the things are, like, things I've, like, vaguely heard of, but I have absolutely no clue what that could be. It sounds like a completely made-up word. I don't have to worry about steam clouds, right? I can just sit in those, and, um... In theory, I could put on this guy's armor. Okay, more armor class. You know what I might? I know having resist corrosion is nice, but I think it's nice if we get a little bit more armor class. And it'll bring my attack delay back up. Not that the other one was really penalizing my attack delay that much, so maybe it's not too bad. Alright, come on, give me give me some sort of range weapon. There's a double sword in here. If I only had a stuck with swords, I would be able to use a double sword. But I think still think I'll keep going with these slings. I don't know. Would it be too late to just switch it up? Um, because if I did long blades, I could go with a double sword and a scimitar of draining, and a plus nine plate armor. I'm actually like vaguely seriously considering re <laughs> spanking this character. That's some pretty nice stuff. Um. They get level, uh, things level up quick when you focus on this point. And you already have fighting level? Yeah, I do. So, it probably wouldn't be too bad getting the chaining to the swords, because I've got, like, decks and stuff as well, so, like, no problems there. What skills am I getting? Invocations, alright. I'll let that get to where it wants to get. Um, hold on, I already have a cloak, right? That's a shame. Then, uh, wait, hold on, if I've got a cloak, I can probably enchant the cloak. But a double sword sounds great, so I think I'll try for those. It's not the best for, like, fighting Hydras. Um, <laughs> which can always be a problem with these Coglins, fighting Hydras. Alright. You know what? I gotta, I gotta make the switch. Uh, long blades to ten. I got, like, two more levels of dungeon before I got to go to the lair. I wonder whether I'll be able to get this whole... 
long blades thing going in the digital dot. Uh, ring mouth poison resistance is okay, but it's not that protective. Okay, two head or can be oh missed with a QRE dart. There we go. Chamber would also probably be quite fun on an archer at uh, Colgan, but I'm not going to stick as an archer anyway. Also, I think uh, Quasal kind of just re reduce all your resist to basically zero if you grab them, I think. Or if you batten them, I mean. Uh, actually, not even zero, like actually negative. Okay, troll should die. That's a good thing about Colgan's. Like, if one of your weapons misses, your other one. So it's a chance of hitting at least. Oh, yeah, I got some brilliance. And we do have the lag good. Because I'm, I'm going to need that one soon. Do I have the repel missiles going yet? I think so. Because that effectively is like doubling my evasion against those centaurs. It's definitely something I need. What's my damage at anyway? It's like 32, except 1.1 1 .1 attack delay. Alright, yeah, I feel like the I feel like log blades could do more. Also, do I have a branding? Because I think that log blade needed branding, right? Hmm. Doesn't look like it yet. Uh, I had one more charge up, but I could probably get the armor, the helmet up. Yeah. I don't know, if I'm going to be going, uh... Let's try the log blades at the skill, skill. So, where is it? Mm. I had to buy the stuff. I hope I can afford it. <laughs> that could be a problem. Okay, double sword. There was a, there was a scimitar draining here as well. Good. I can't afford those. Um, the plate armor. This is half the reason why I'm doing the switch. I don't think I would have otherwise. I just got a shop mimic. Man, those are always uh, those are always really disappointing. It's like, hey, I could have had all this good stuff, but no, the game does not want to give it to you. Uh oh. Uh I'm in like a weird, awkward spot where I got one long blade and one not. Um so I do 40 something damage, 1.1 1 .1 attack delay, pretty similar to what I had before. Put on the plate armor. See, let's just go examine this plate armor. So I gained 49 because I lose 9 evasion. Oh yeah. I think it's pretty good. It comes with this electric as well. Alright. Lair time, I guess. What do I have for, like, killing hydras? I guess I can run away from them if I need to. Uh... Okay. Curari, the toughest one. I can probably just hit it. This is not the best spot because these guys do kind of have a way of surrounding me. Like both the uh, up and down areas on the staircase, so I kind of crowd it. Oh, I just have to start teleport. Yep. It's not not ideal, but uh, especially with the storm, like trying to get everyone. This is one of the situations where you kind of regret taking across all the areas where the staircase just leads down and you've already got one way down. Um, hmm. All right, next group of creatures, I guess. Alright, next group. That's not too bad. That's only two guys. That's a lot better than what I was getting here previously. I think I might have, like, finally managed to kind of clear this out. We'll see if, like, any more really tough stuff comes along. Uh... Tam for the log blades. I might actually get a little bit of fighting, because this plate armor doesn't look too bad. How's the damage looking? So, uh... 46 damage, point nine attack delay. Yeah, that seems pretty good.
I've got rude, so I maybe should have been using some of the rude to those situations before when I was getting surrounded. I'm not sure, because it is pretty good when you get surrounded. All right, gloves. Those ones on. I have no willpower. I'll probably never have willpower. No idea with basilisks, but it is what it is, I guess. Uh, identified the enlightenment. Hey, I guess that's kind of willpower. Also, there's nothing stopping me from charging up my uh, double sword because that's an end game weapon. Just need the brown on it, which presumably I'll find a brown weapon scroll at some stage. Uh, I don't have the. I do have the element of force, but I don't have the other one. That's fine. The disaster area. I don't even have the skill required to use it either. Can I just get out a little elemental force? Um, okay, this thing I definitely need to cure Ari. Now what? Um, Didn't really like how low I was in health. Oh, we got a cat bleepers. I can cure every one of those as well. I don't even have to worry about it. its clouds, so it doesn't seem too bad. I already got lying on the ground. Some fruit. I want to eat some fruit. Can I eat fruit? I can. I eat an apricot. Because I have like a goblin and a mech suit, so I wasn't entirely sure. I mean, the mech suit's not going to be the eat the, um, eat the fruit, but I guess a like, little goblin guy can. This guy's got no poison resistance, so I can totally hit him with a curare. Also, there must be a swamp around here. Um, yeah, there we go. You just want to get those Landoma guys away from the trees, otherwise they just keep on spamming the healing skills they have. Uh, oh, well, one level away from getting a gizmo here. I really don't know what sort of gizmo I want to get, like what sort of resist. Because right now I have resist electric, but if I end up with gold dragon armor or something, that'll be the resist I don't have. Um, I still want to see what's on offer. Well, heal wounds is nice. Brosy is nice. Alright. Did you ever rip every character like someone recently that have like Rev Parry? And that was kind of fun. Um. But it's always like the one that gives regen. That was pretty good as well. Alright, well. I'm done with lad 2. Let's go down again. Ooh, I don't have a good choke point. I'm going to try and bring these upstairs. But it's not guaranteed with elephants. Unless you find the mountain boots, then you won't get pushed off a staircase. But the mountain boots are quite rare. I really love the mountain boots, though, because they're like plus three, so they're quite protective. And they give a call resist, and they stop you getting pushed around. Uh... Alright, it's got spiders and swamp. I wonder which of those I'll do first. It really depends on what resist I find, I think. Uh... The swords were a good choice? Yeah, I think so. These swords are, these swords are doing really good damage. All right, the armor definitely is at a good point as well. I do want the range. I do want some more swords. Let's bring the swords up to like, I don't know, 15. I'll get the fighting up to like 14 as well. 15, uh, not quite mid delay on a double sword. Actually, you're not. Let's get it up to 16. That probably makes more sense. No, it's just really nice having like one in game weapon so I got something to spend all like my enchant weapon scrolls and stuff. Uh Rope Minus for Fire Resist and Cold Resist? Hmm, I don't think so. I think I'd rather stick with the heavy arm with this character, especially since I got the armor skill now. Alright, last three done. Oh, I don't want to go down to Spider Nest. That would be an absolute disaster if we went down to them because I'd be going down with a swarm and trying to get everyone. I mean, I might be able to get out before I got too swamped, but it's no guarantee with the Spider's Nest. That you won't just immediately get super swamped. That's more the frogs. They're not having too many problems with those ones. 
I guess that's my 30 armor class helps. That will help with Hydras, but I'm really not sure what I do to damage Hydras. Oh, nice. Um, can I just read the scroll off the floor? In fact, I might do that right in the middle of combat. It probably doesn't matter with the spawn of the beetle. All right, Death Yikes, come back this way. Oh, yeah, there's tons of them. All right, uh, gonna have to peek the staircases. That one looks good because I don't want to go next to the other one that snakes my other staircase. Um, yeah, I would have wanted to go down that one. I mean, it might have been fine. Oh, come on. Don't just stick down the staircase. Okay, next. Uh, yeah, there it is. Uh... All right, left four. So I've got one more level to left. Oh, of course, more death yanks. And unfortunately, my first Hydra. I could just try like elemental force, I suppose. Um, that's my staircase. And it's one percent failure. I guess that does something. Oh, did I even get into throwing? I don't think I picked up the boomerangs because I was uh, initially doing other stuff. I don't think I got the throwing just yet. Okay, so I can do. I can also do a mirror if I need to. I've got some wands of like paralysis and stuff. Um, I'll start it with the elemental. Oh, okay. Elemental falls to the trick. You don't need to do anything else. Got a traction. Oh, Berserk Rage and Mutation. I tried to cognate Berserker recently because in theory they should work really well. And it seemed alright. Definitely got the win on it. Because uh, with two weapons, you get the bonus damage on Berserk on both weapons. I can finally make a gizmo. Alright, let's go see what's on offer. Ref magic points resist electric slaying. Probably not. Auto dazzle resist poison resist corrosion resist cold. That's okay. Or fire this willpower clarity repel missiles. Unfortunately, I've already got the repel missiles. Fire this is nice. I might go with the poison for this one. Auto dazzle is not the, my most favorite. But, but I do need the poison resist. I do need the cold resist. I do need the resist corrosion. Um. Yeah. At the moment, that's definitely my best choice, but later on, I'm not sure. I might get it anyway. Uh. Alright, so I'm missing fire resist, but there are other resists are kind of there. Whoa, whew. Look at all those death yanks. Okay. I mean, it's going to take a, take a while to clear this level. I seem to be able to find them one or two at a time, so it's not too bad. Uh. I guess they don't come along while I'm fighting these elephants. Because I'm never going to be able to get back to the staircase while fighting those elephants. Resist corrosion and resist poison on the same item as uh, sweet. Yeah, because it counts as like... Uh, I know some of the ones count as like less rare or something, so you get more of them. Like with the resist electric one, it didn't give them any resist, because the resist electric counts as quite rare or something. Something like that. And hopefully I don't have problems with no resist like later on, but it's not gonna be a problem for a long time because this plate armor <laughs> of resist electric. Uh okay. wait around the staircase, see how many death yanks come along. Not any? Oh there they are. Alright, um, obviously go with another staircase here. This is maybe where half the death eggs came from, this ending, I'm not sure. They might have just been free on the level or something. It's gotta be more cat- yeah, there we go, another cat of bleepers. I'm not too scared of those ones, I mean, they do a bit of melee damage to me, but it really doesn't feel too bad. Alright, what's this armor? Cold resist chainmail, it's not gonna compete with the plus nine armors I've got. Oh, I've got a haste potion. I can finally use those. I'm not a chain reagent swatcher anymore. Oh, let's let another one get up to me. There we go. There we go. 
There was a delay while it's going up that staircase, so I was like, Mom, the game's not crashing or something. Alright, I can probably just head straight back down, I think. I don't think there were too many guys here. Yeah, it's the one dude. Oh, boomerangs, hold up. Hold up, I do need those ones. Also, I do need to check on boots. I don't appear to have those, so I'm going to grab the ones up here. Uh, I could probably drop... I think I dropped the old slings. These are definitely doing better at the moment. Alright, that's fine. What do I need to do? Anything I need to do? I guess I just go back to the dungeon, right? Hopefully find a flaming scimitar or something for my offhand. Actually, what I really need is like a brad weapon scroll, but I don't have one of those. Hey, Sonya. She's got Venom this time around, which is good. She has paralysis, which is not the best. Because sometimes she comes along with like, I don't know, um, distortion or something. That one's always really scary. I might try to paralyze her. Hey, that could be my branding, but I don't have an um, identify scroll to find out just yet. I'm gonna have to wait just a little while, so I got some enchant armor. I could do like gloves or helmets or something, I don't know. Uh... It would, at the moment, they would definitely have an advantage to doing that. But later on, I might be trying to get some other KV armor. I don't really know. Uh oh. Oh. It's not ideal because it's repelling. I might actually teleport out. It's for like repelling damage. I'll stop repelling damage, but still, I'm kind of wounded right now. Okay, Psyche. She does have the whole polymorph thing, but she's usually not too bad. She wasn't too bad this time round. Why is my strength 16? I know I've got like a little bit buffed to the armor. Huh, I think I just start with a reasonable amount of strength on this combo. That's real. I'll bring him around the corner. He usually has minions with him, but oh, there's one. Uh. I don't actually want to kill that one, I just want to leave it alive so he doesn't hit me with the damnation. The only problem is I don't have any fire in this situation, which is not ideal. Um, Please stop repelling missiles. Oh, not repelling missiles, repelling damage. Oh, there we go, get it with some upheavals, it's kind of it. A terrifying enemy. Uh, plus zero scimitar flaming. I might have to keep with the draining one actually, because that doesn't look that uh that good. If it had a bit more than just plus zero or something like plus plus three, I think I might use it. Alright. Although I do have the swamp, but I'm probably gonna have to put on some flaming scimitars in the swamp or something. At least one so that I'm keeping the heads uh kind of neutral instead of giving more heads to Hydras. Oh hey, Minotaur. Alright, well, I've got plenty of inventory space, so I could probably just head straight on in. So I might drop the Amnesia, D-Gen. Yeah, that'll do. Let's get in here. Oh, what's the scarf? I don't know, do I? But it's some sort of artifact, and my cloak is like nothing right now, plus two. Which admittedly is alright, but the scarf would probably be... Well, I'd have a chance of being something good, but it's not necessarily good. Um... Artifact gloves look nice. What else? Do oh, gold dragon armor. Is that worth grabbing? Why does it tell me how much armor class it gives? Glowing. So I don't know until I like uh, pick it up. Oh, the final flood sub. Man, there's choices. I've currently got some decent armor. Can I actually? I've got two more enchant armor. Okay. Um. <laughs> I like look at that blinking scroll. Let me just try and figure out what the best path is through this place. Do I want to get like the the 
Oh, is there a vile flood sale like here or something? Where is that vile floods? There it is. All right. That was a hard one to pass up just for curiosity. Yeah, I'm kind of really tempted to go with the gold dragon armor. The gloves, I mean, are decent. Could be decent. Um. All right, well, we definitely saw the scarf. That's fine. I get a blinky if I go that way, but not if I go this way. I gotta lose out of my... I think I'll go for the gold dragon armor. I don't know, I lose out a number of things, but I guess that's fine. Uh, resist electric, that's actually not bad. I don't need it right now, but if I put on the gold dragon armor, I sure will. Okay. Go this way. Yeah, I think this is fine. Do I have one cold resist right now, which is good. All right. Don't like the look of that necromancer, but I think I'm just going to have to do that. Do this. I'm going to light it up before I go in to try and stop it draining me up as much. Um, if I shoot these with a quick silver, does that stop them coming back to life? No. Okay. It does do damage in a light, though, so it's not a terrible thing to do. Hey, Necromance is dead, but these guys are still going to be coming back in simulacrums for a little while. Alright, so, uh, plus one gold dragon scales. Let's check it out. So, I, I lose, uh, five armor class and five evasion. Wow. Okay, so currently it's not that good, although it does still get the results. Um... It's okay. Just I got some really well charged up. You know what? I might still... Nah, maybe not yet. I won't put on just yet, but I, I think soon I'll get to using that one. Because getting the resist can be really uh, good. Like the fire resist. Hmm. Clearly I need to be on the other side here. What's it got on? It's got a hand axe of flaming. Oh, it's got points for resist. I can't curare it. Go resist electric, resist negative. Oh, that's a rig. Minus a rig. Okay, well, get mirrored. Get dead. There we go. Got his javelins. They don't need the rig. Can't use that. Don't need his armor. Um, helmet of intelligence. I feel like I might have enchanted my one already. I'll take that. Yeah, maybe a plus one. All right, so I don't really want to put that one on just yet. Axe for Hydra, do you think so? It's a. Uh... I mean, I guess it is flaming. The problem with Conklin's is they're, like, really slow at swapping weapons. Like, really, really slow. So, that can make it a little bit more questionable. Yeah, I gotta look at that gold dragon armor again. So, I still like the minus five of the things. Uh, whatever, I'm gonna put it on anyway. Uh, keep just roaming, no thanks. Not when I'm about to be smited by these guys. All right, now I can uh, try put it on. Um, yeah, definitely hiding my page, and I'll put on this one as well, so I can see invisible now. Got basically all the resist, apart from resist negative. I did lose a lot of armor class. I don't know. I tried to like train up the armor skill, but I'm not sure this is actually worthwhile or not. Uh. Can I actually kill both of these guys? Hold up. If I bring out an elemental force, maybe. There we go. I don't think that would have been doable without... Your surprise is heavy the plate. I mean, it's gold dragon armor. It's uh, the heaviest armor in the game. As well as, uh, like, like say, top equal with crystal plate armor. He said it's slightly less protective than crystal plate armor, but gives, uh, gives some resists. So it's kind of a trade-off. Oh, hey, Louise. 50% of banishment. I did lie to myself, but she's still going to be able to banish me. Yeah, 20%. Oh, she got it. 
for three. Man, do I say goodbye to a Quasol? It would be really sad, but I think I gotta. I was on 15 carriage, but Quasol's terrible in the abyss because you tried to everything. Okay, I guess it's, uh, I guess it's the Gadu time. I mean, I didn't necessarily need to abandon, but it, um, you know, I think it's time that I just depart. to get Dreadlich there. Such a shame. I got corrupted, but oh well, I'm sure it's fine. Uh, I'm on fire right now. I'm not resistant to draining. That might mildly be a problem right now. I do... Actually, wait, I do have a little bit of fire in this, don't I? I've got the stuff of my golden dragon armor. Oh, well, I guess it's time to start building out the piety again. I was kind of just getting there with the piety. Uh, I've got a glowing cloaked steaming boots. I'll try the boots. They are minus fire resist, but they do get a regen. Oh, they're plus five. I might put them on. Yeah, I want to kill this fire guy first, and then maybe I'll put them on. Um. Oh, of course, everything is fiery now. Hold up. Should teleport. Who? Okay. Uh, that dragon summoned. My teleport's gonna go off soon, though. All right. Oh, must not be devoured. Sure. You know what? I might just put back on the regular boots for a little while. Hey, Jog Run. Man. I just thought I'd teleport. Jog Run's gonna get to me because he can uh, detect people. Okay. Dead get the vile floods, and I'll never get that one, unfortunately, with this character. Can I paralyze him? No. Can I, um. I just stand. Where's my. Oh, I don't have the whole wrong character for a storm. I was looking for a storm to bring in elemental things, but that makes zero sense. Um. I think I can take him out with a Berserk. I really hope that's not a mistake, but Berserk does do some really good damage. Alright. I actually gotta go all the way back to the staircase. I had a nice little choke point there, so it was, it was kind of a hard decision. Do I take these back to a, the staircase or fight them with the choke point? Uh, a fog. I need the enchant weapon. Come on, not enchant weapon. I got that one. I need the brand weapon. So I'm running around with an unbranded double sword here. Uh, remarkably, those fog arts. Than bringing nothing too bad. It's kind of weird because they don't really have any AoE stuff anymore. Alright. I don't have to repel missiles anymore, but I'm sure I'll be fine. Well, a few large rocks to the face, right? Yeah, that's what I was worried about. Vulnerable to heat times two. I'm gonna have no uh, resist fire, resist cold for a while, I think, unfortunately. Ooh. Mm, I might mirror this guy up, give it something to distract it. I mean, it's not that tough, it's just not a great situation. Okay, a wasp. Um, if I mirror it up, my mirrored guy, I uh, don't mirror it up, roost it up, my mirrored guy should be able to bash it up. There we go. Wait, what does? Got bottle to heat times four? <laughs> Man, that's funny. Uh... At least it doesn't stack, but I think I'm going to get away from this dragon actually. Um... Uh huh. Uh huh. 
I just get up off this level. But also, I've gone down right, rather deep. I think I should just go to the Orgish Mines. But I think some of the Orgs could do fire damage as well, which is kind of a bit of a worry. Last vulnerable heat, we've already got two vulnerability heat. Mm. Alright, feel clever. That's whatever, I think. If I remember correctly, the Quantum of Wrath doesn't last uh, like extra lens, it's just kind of normal lens. Yeah, I think that's the guy that does. Paralysis is a bolt of fire. Alright, I'm gonna try and pull it a little bit closer. Don't really like how all my all three of my staircases are in the exact same spot. That never works out great for like uh stair dancing. Well they did not have to do any stair dancing this time around, so maybe it's fine. That all the dazzle space will be dodging, right? Which is not going to happen a lot with my two evasion. That's the main problem with that one. Often I end up with my evasion tanky or something. Uh, soon after putting it on. I'll soon after getting the auto dazzle thing. I gotta compare my armor to what my other one does now that I've uh, got a bit more skill. I still like. Oh, okay. Um. Ah, yeah, it's still like five of each of the Vagin and Armor class, which is a bit of a shame. This looks fine so far, just keep on letting these guys come along. I don't like how they're reminded though, which is a bit of a shame. Right, now we can go look at the shops. So this one's trying to sell me a condenser vein. I do want that at some stage. Um, I think I'm getting a little bit low on the teleport, but I'm not, like, low yet. Uh, yeah, I probably could identify something at some stage soon. What else have we got here? Ooh. Oh, requirement. I gotta have that one. Um, Charge up is good. Blink's good. This is a slightly... Cheaper teleport, I actually do all the poison. So I deeper identifies. Okay, there's so much stuff I wanted in that one. But I'll take out the other shops first, but I'll probably just grab that acquirement pretty soon. But I do need one more good sword, so um, maybe the acquirement will give me one. We'll see. Could end up giving me something ranged, which wouldn't work so well. That's just armor. Nah. I've been spoiled for choice with the armor this game. Oh, more enchant armor? Definitely. Revelations, okay. Identify, poison, sure. Anyway, so I'll start with the acquirement and then I get enchant armor, I guess. Mm. Hand cannon, yeah, to go with the range route. Oh, that's a shame. Stuff called orb of rage. No, I don't need those things. Unfortunately, it's just turning back into money, I guess. Well, that's a little bit of a shame, but anyway. I get a job by armor, I guess. Oh, I've got three of these guys. Surprised I didn't just dump them all on my armor. That's kind of what's going to make this armor better than the other one is putting the enchant armor on it. Uh... Alright, let's see how it compares now with my old armor. So, uh... Right, so I lose five vision, but I gain like one armor class. So it hasn't quite gone up with the physical defenses, but it's getting closer. Also, did I buy some identifies? Because if I did, I should go identify the silence. Um, I think there were more identifies for sale, right? I got a uh, noise. Oh, that's a shame. What am I missing? Probably like Brad Whip or something. Let's see, Brad Whip butterflies or something. Uh, yeah.
Um, I think there's no, okay, there's nothing left to the Orcish mines, is there? Well, I guess I just go back to dungeon level 14 or whatever I was on. I know I got pretty deep in the dungeon. Um, oh, it's a summon dragon. I see. Oh, no, my cold resist. <laughs> got stripped off as well. Not that matters against a fire dragon. Just that's one that I should have a bit of, but don't anymore. Alright, um, don't feel like I got anything to identify yet, no. That looks terrible. I would totally, I mean, getting sent to the abyss is maybe not the worst thing. This guy's got a demon blade. Oh. Uh. That could be a good idea, actually, so... Hmm. Probably cost me like a scroll of something. Oh, it could crop so I don't think it will. A scroll of teleport or something I reckon is gonna be needed here. Maybe. This might just be the perfect choke point for fighting all these guys without needing um, anything like that. Oh, uh, I was traveling still. That's actually not too bad. All right. Uh, where's my demon blade? Give it to me. Give me a uh, demon blade of pain. That sounds all right. Got a good bottleneck. Yeah, that was definitely, definitely nice playing with those guys. A little choke point and just getting them getting stuck there. Let's see how much this does. 30 damage. Oh, yeah. So I'm doing 60 damage or a 0.6 attack delay, that seems pretty decent to me. Hey, Quasar's modified, I can start getting my resist back, actually I've got the back. It's just a shame about the fire resist. Which, I don't know how we get fire resist on this character. So where's my way down? What? Oh, right, exclusion is blocking me from getting to it, isn't it? Uh Hey, it's good old Quasar, but unfortunately I can't really swap the gods back or I get uh banished demon to the abyss again. It's a shame. But I'm sure there's still some uh titles left. What are the titles for Legado? Let me go check. I feel like there's something I could get. Uh God Legado. Distorting um goblet or something, sure. Yeah, there's no way I've had that one before. But I don't even think I've done like a like Godu Um Coglin ever. He should all be fine. None of them are fiery at least. Right, I can now gain myself to the abyss. All this party's going up fast. I gotta get some more skill, you know? I should do that right now. Get invocations like, I don't know, 12 or something. That should allow me to banish things reliably and corrupt things reliably. So uh, both uh, decent abilities. Corrupt's actually kind of an interesting ability because you can use it to kill tough things, but then you often still end up to like teleport out or something. Um, But you can also use it... I just hit one of these with paralysis or something? No. You could also use it to like sometimes get to places you otherwise wouldn't be able to. Um. Hmm. I think this is alright. Ooh. I kind of tempted to go banish this one though. There we go. Banish does target the willpower, but it's actually really good at getting through willpower, so... I don't think that's not... Too fast, yeah, it should be able to get through its willpower. I don't think it doesn't have, like, I don't know, four or five pips or something. Oh, hey there, Rupert. Oh, did I ever get any... I didn't even get any portions of willpower again, so he's got, like, a 35% chance of, mm, paralyzing me. This is a questionable idea, but I'm gonna vulnerability him. 
<laughs> I hate to think how good he is at uh, getting me though. Now, 60% of badging. There we go. That's better. Yeah, but he had a good chance of paralyzing me. Hey, Nezos. Nezos has bad willpower, so I might just be able to paralyze him. Yeah. I might pull out the banish. It's 80% chance. Alright, so what branches have we got to go with? I've got the swamp and I've got the spider nest. I might actually do the spider nest, even though I haven't actually got some ranged attacks. Um, which is a little bit sketchy. No, let's just stop the armor where it is. I know it's probably like about to hit us a little bit anyway. Hmm. But I can't like banish the orb spiders, but I prefer not to actually be constantly banishing orb spiders. I don't know. Oh, enchant army? Yes, please. I should have resist corrosion, I'm pretty sure. Alright. I am barbed. I think this is going alright though. Do I? I've tried some regen uh, for my boots or something, but it doesn't not quite seem to be keeping up sometimes in here. Nothing you can do with the orb spiders. Sometimes you can just pull them like directly around that corner. And that gets you up nice and close to them. Like with here. There we go. Pull it nice and close. Uh, I can do another shard armor. So can I identify that scroll of brand weapon? There we go, finally. I can brand up my um, main double sword here. Oh, heavy. So my attack delay is 0.8, which is still fine. So I do a total of 73 damage. No, 93 damage, not 70. What am I saying? That's pretty good, I think. And yeah, I got some butterflies. Yeah, I feel like I'm doing pretty well with the damage. Melee damage. Um... Not so well at range. All right. Somebody should come around this corner. Ah. Did I have a... No, I didn't get the throwing. I've got a little bit, but I should turn that one on and get it to 16, I guess. Uh, what is even my long blade skill? 16 as well. All right. Um... No, I might just banish that dude. Doesn't work with its like orb spiders around, but it's it's all right. It's kind of the main Legato thing. It's just being able to banish quite a bit of stuff. Don't want to be this surrounded. Not the best spot to get away from being surrounded, but this works. Hmm. I do have the emulation, but I can't get the fire resist, can I? Oh, I don't think I can really emulate these guys without a bit of fire resist. I might just lightning rod them. Alright. Fortunately, that's going to take a while to recharge, but, oh well. Does get me out of situations like that. Oh, the Wave of Frost. I think that's what I got to resist to, so it should be too bad. And I do have a magic mapping, I do believe. There we go. Three revelations. It's that way. Uh oh. Why just back up the staircase? Ooh, are they all in berserk? Um, I'm gonna start with a bit of roots in the middle of the slot, guys. Uh, fear's not gonna work with the berserk, right? If I banish this one 80%, oh, come on, please. Please banish. Okay, I think I'm fine now. Man, I might just go... That was a bit of traveling, but I might just go back to the staircase.
I would like to deal with a bizarre, like, ghost moth or something. Um, <laughs> that does not sound like the most pleasant experience. Oh, whoops. I ah, had it right next to me for a little while there, but then I let it get away, unfortunately. Alright, I should get back my health. Oh, it's basically back already. I don't think I'll wait my magic points back, because I'm kind of in a little bit of a hurry to get moving to this ice cave. Um, nothing to identify still, fair enough. I think I've identified most stuff. Yeah, I'm missing cancellation experience, visibility, and lignification. So still a few potions missing, but most of the stuff is there. That's not summoned. I thought I saw like a little summon icon on it for a second, but I guess not. Alright, we'll do a drop. I can drop my old scimitar. I guess I'll drop that tad dex. I need the boots outside, although the other ones are kind of fire. Just drop the plate armor. Alright. Amnesia noise. These could all be dropped. Torment. That's probably a good amount of inventory space. Let's go on in. Double check I do have the cold resist. Good. I guess with this character, you don't have to wear, worry about wearing the wrong rings or anything when you can't even wear rings. I know I've died before because I was wearing the wrong ring because I swapped a ring to find some sort of creature and then forgot to swap back. Ah, oh, it's a town. No, Kaiju to cold resist. That's, that's good. Often these ice caves are a good source of shields, well, sometimes, but not needed for this character. Am I going to see, like, Frost Hearts in here? I feel like it's got to be something tough like Frost Hearts. Because this is a reasonably late ice cave. It was off one of my lab branches, so... I don't know, we'll see what I have at the end. Because so far these are just kind of junk. Uh, hmm. i got to find the statue. It's, uh, hold on. It's one of some of the demons, right? It's not Shadow Creatures. Minor demon, summon demon, okay. I just gotta try and walk up to it, I guess. I don't think I can banish a statue, can I? Infinite will. Alright. Not easy to get to. I'll try that again. There we go. Let me get up to it. Ooh. Deep Troll Simulacrum. I think that's going fine. Hey, Dumontel! How's this good? What characters have you been up to in like, I don't know, the last few days where I've been streaming? Ooh, enchant armor is good. I definitely want to enchant something. Definitely. I think I gave a go with this gold dragon armor. I was actually kind of lucky to get that one early on. Um, does it make more sense? Uh, it doesn't really matter which weapon I enchant. I might just keep a go with the demon blade. Not the demon blade, the other one. Oh, good. How about you? Yeah, I'm pretty good. Uh, today's been pretty good. I managed to finish off a character I had gone before. And basically, like, it was a Minotaur that, of Champion Angels that punched super hard. And I tried some mummies, but they didn't get anywhere, so now I'm trying a Coglin. Ooh, more enchant number. Excellent. The more of these I can get, the better, basically. Uh, Cold Resist was the resist I had. I gave my scarf like, shadows, resist electric, see invisible, because those are all things I need. It's refrigeration pole of onyx. I'm not exactly a nice character, so I don't need those. Alright, let's get out of here. I think that's all the items that I need to grab. I don't think I need that battle axe. So I just those two-handed coglins don't work the best with two-handed weapons. Can I finally throw things somewhat decently? Five skill? Uh. Ah, uh, that's alright. That's enough, I guess. Or oh, just, uh, more troll shapeshifter, but you've been sick, so the brain fog's not helping. No, I can see that being a problem. But troll shapeshifter is a lot of fun. I've done, I've done at least one troll shapeshifter, but I feel like I've had more trolls than that that did shapeshifting. Um, even if they didn't start as a shapeshifter. Man, I can actually look at that, right? It's like, uh... Troll. 
Ah, uh, how would I do that? Uh, maybe something like that. I can't remember. I don't know if they had command, would they? Wait, I've had eight trolls with shape shifting above 15, apparently. Some of those probably just did it for a death spot, but imagine. Yeah, like the last character was a 15 rune character, although I think that one's actually into shape shifting to troll Wanderer. They just uh, swapped to a death tally, but later on. Oh, I suppose that counts all the trolls that were like really into shape shifting. They just got the statue form. Although, admittedly, that's kind of kind of is really into shape shifting. All right, down with level two. Let's go down. How's the armor class going now? It's got to finally. Oh, I don't even have the old armor on me. I want to see how it compares to the old armor. Okay, so if I put on this one, I lose five AC and I gain like five vision. So it's a we're actually better now. That's good. I was a bit worried that this armor would like overtake my old set of armor that I swapped it out for. Ow. I don't know. I might just try another staircase. This one's, um. I could just banish those guys, I suppose. Uh, I'm gonna move back a little bit, but I'll probably have to do some banishment on these guys. Let's just go banish the one that's charged up. Man, I can't tent this guy. Oh, I might just Banish it at the end anyway. <laughs> oh. Please? 80% chance? That's fine if these guys go with Berserk, because the cover is the one that really matters. Um... Sure, I remember that Scroll of Poison can be quite good at the um, Spider Nest if I need to use one. They got a decent number of those. They got tons of poison from the sources, so it's not like you're gonna get poisoned. Uh oh, is it a chart armor here? So I do want to get that, but there was also a ghost. There's uh Casico's ghost, a coglin gladiator. Do 40 damage. They already got 140 health, they got even less health than me. Um hey, what else have they got in there? Oh, a new box of beast sprite. Okay. You know what? I think I can do this. I might have to teleport out a few times, but. I actually don't have that many teleports. I think I can buy some though. I might sell the teleport right now. Ooh. Right, well, it's a good thing they were not feeling fast again. That was not a good idea. Let me just go. Mm, no. I'll try this a few more times and then I go buy myself some more teleports, I think. Right, at least this time around I shouldn't be slowed, hopefully. Uh, I said there is still that boulder beetle in here. Not boulder beetle. That guy. Alright, one less ghost. Uh, ghost Moss if you like, or I think I should teleport out. Do you have good cold for this, but still. I'm kind of running low on guys, but I'm also kind of low on health, so there we go. They got me out of there. And it should be no problems finishing this place off. Oh, come on. Get me back around. Around to the place. Alright, there we go. Box of Bees, Scroll of Fog, Enchant Armor. I think Max is out like gold right now, but I think it's some other armor to enchant. Um, where's the teleports? Alright. 
I should probably go buy quite a few of them, I think. Oops, not the noise. That's pretty much the one here that I don't want. Uh, I can take that identify off my shopping list if I want now. All right. Uh, oh, okay. I can't afford the condensed vein anymore. <laughs> Maybe I should come back for that one pretty soon. Anyway, let's go to... So that's Spider Nest 3. I think I just finished that one. So Spider Nest 4 now, I guess. Alright, how's the staircase to go down? It's, um, it's alright. Yeah, but of course, by the time we get back down, there's more creatures, right? Pull these up because I want to separate them from the Furorad. Because the Furorad's going to bring some guys back to life, unfortunately. Ah, uh, yeah, these guys are going to get they'll take a life as a simulacrum. simulacrum. The only thing that could like, make this second is really bad is probably like a Moth of Wrath. So I guess a um, Tom's Snail doesn't help, but I think a Moth of Wrath would be the worst thing. All right, don't care about the rope. Sure, I was like, resist the electric, resist fire, or something. Resist fire is the thing I need, but... Actually, my gold dragon, order, gold dragon armor already gives resist fire, so it wouldn't even help with that regard. Oh, I should just throw, maybe. Cure me up, okay. Ah, I had to cure me up again, um... I think that, I know this guy's almost dead, but I think I got a battle trick because an orb of destruction hitting me right now would not be great. And I'm slowed right now. Uh, good, it wore off. Better than like be probably stuck in another guy's net though. It's just banish this dude. But my party actually seems to slowly still be going up. Huh. Oh. I don't have any magic points to banish this moth of wrath. I'm just worried though instead of the steel bomb were berserk because I know those ones are definitely a big problem while they're berserk. Alright, where am I going? Right here, that's fine. That teleport trap put me somewhere it already be, so it's perfectly harmless. All right, Tom Snail, that's good. What are the creatures that are in here? I feel like there's going to be some Moths of Wrath, at least. No Moths of Wrath, the other one, Ghost Moths. But this character doesn't have too many problems with those. The main problem is that they leave me with no magic points, so I can't do my god abilities, right? Uh... All right. Got a Rune, which is this character's first Rune. Got a... Oh, Mountain Boots. Man, okay, so my current boots are the minus fire resist regen one, but they do give lots of armor plus. I guess I lose the resist negative. Yeah, I mean, that brings me back up to one fire resist. Cons is basically maxed out. Um, I really like the armor class and uh, regen that those boots were giving me, but I think it's probably good to have the mounted boots on, not be pushed around. And I can go to the swamp now and got some poison resist. Um... But I can't be pulled around either, can I? Those guys trying to... Oh, this guy could paralyze me. 50%, there we go. Actually, what I should do is I should check on spells. See if there's a... Um... Vise? No. Alright. Alright. So how's that throw it go? It's going alright. I'll keep it going. I think it's still an important thing to have. I 
Uh, terms of killing hydras. This is not a good set of weapons. Hmm. I am a little bit worried about hydras. We'll see. The fact that one of my weapons is um heavy is actually not too bad because it means you hit them less often. Because so I get less like healing for growing up, growing more heads, so they get less heads. But I mean, if I had one heavy and one flaming, it might be alright. I don't know. Alright, uh, still nothing to identify. Oh, I do have something to identify. Potion of Invisibility. I think leaving the swan to my second lab branch was probably a good choice for this character. Because I seem to... Oh, ow. I just banish this dude. Get out of here, guy. Uh, I seem to, yeah, actually not be having the most pleasant time in here. Um... Doesn't help that I can't fly. Uh, there's not a lot I can do about that, though. Because I can't put on rings around this, and I'm pretty sure I'm even out of the potions that let me fly, which. So I can't even use one in an emergency. I'll see how this goes. I got her to half his health. Did go up to like a 9 hit Hydra, but it died, so I think my damage is high enough to take them out. Um... Uh-huh. Yeah, if I do hit them, it's not too bad. Man, this actually feels questionable. I'm kind of thinking about going to the, um... Vaults, although I don't have any willpower, so I will get mined all the time. Do you have the resist electric for my scarf though at least? Um I just small mutate this guy. Just to make it a little bit more vulnerable to my damage. Alright, you know what? Yeah, let's try the uh that doesn't look right. Let's try the vaults for a little while, see how that one goes. Well, they stopped marked. That's not a surprise. Okay. Tons of cold resistance, which is good. Um Hmm. Might just pull out my lighting rod and try to hit some of these guys. Nah, that's not gonna work. I'm actually gonna try to teleport now, but I don't want to get myself too wounded. Ooh, speaking of too wounded, gonna drink a healing potion. Oh no! I got a teleport soon, but this is actually really bad. These guys are doing way more damage to me than I thought. Um, uh, I'll try another healing potion. Oh, still not teleported. I'll try another the healing potion. I think it's better than trying to, like, uh... Okay, I might be able to do fear now. No, these guys don't really get affected by that. <sighs> Fine, I'll do a teleport, but this is... Oh. Sketchy. Um... I am still might. I could just do a... Can't just do a cancellation. Well... How long has this got left? It's still... I think it's still got a while, doesn't it? Um... Banish this guy, at least. I've probably got some wads as well that I can use to take these guys out. Not really. As it turns out, what, uh, I mean, Quicksilver, maybe? Fortunately, you can't self Quicksilver anymore, so I can't use it to get rid of this mark on me. I'll just add this form. Um. Ow. The worst form is getting low, but still, I don't really have any much defenses here. This is kind of a problem. I'll try a bit of fear on these guys. Still might. Oh, thank goodness. We're far more off, but I'm still... It's not a great situation. Okay, Thunder Hulk. I have resist electric, but I still don't like the look of the Thunder Hulk. I might just banish it. Mmm... 
Can I at least like do a little bit of brosy of a full skate gets up to me? Right. So far, this place has been kind of a bit of a disaster. I might just, uh... Still marked, aren't I? Which is not great. What do I want to do to these guys? I kind of want to pop a poison and step back a little bit, see if they follow me. It does follow me. Alright. Well, at least it's going to be fighting a poison, right? Uh, I don't know if I have a regen on anymore, which could be a bit of a problem. You keep them back with a bit more poison. Okay. Man, my range attacks are unfortunately not the best. I got to run out of magic points eventually. I'll try to banish that one. Oh, no. No, that's way too many guys. I gotta, oh, I gotta teleport again, but like, not gonna get a chance to heal up, am I? All right. That's probably enough for Brosie. I got a little bit of health now again. Maybe going back to the, um, oh, Lignificator is fine. Maybe going back to the swamp would be an idea. Uh, I don't know. Oh, the good job. Well, I managed to survive, but yeah, I do reckon, oh, this is not the hand cannon. Actually, I think it's the first one. I had one on and off from requirement. I do, yeah, I do feel like, uh, heading back to the swamp, though. <laughs> to be perfectly honest. Alright, can I bash these dudes? Not very well. Might just mirror one of them up. Uh don't know where my mirror ends up. There it is. Hmm. Yeah, be the tree is alright, because I don't really care if those guys are not next to me. How do I get out of here? I just gotta go this way, right? To get out of here. Oh, you timed yourself out, do you forget? We'll never know what messages you sent. Like for some reason, I still seem to be able to see. I wonder what other people can see what messages you sent. All right, there we go. Got out of there. Let's go, man. That was a that was a terrible time. Swab, uh, not that one. Uh, swab three, four, three. Okay, step up to the crab, uh... On the plus side, I don't get mined in here, but on the minus side, I do sometimes struggle a little bit. Uh-oh. I know these guys can, like, poison you. The Hornets can if you have no poison resist. Apparently they can still do it with poison resist. I guess it's poison immunity that protects you. Oh, it's a uh, boost of 7 strength. At least I don't need the strength. Well, it would help with my, um... Nah, it's not worth it. But it would help with my... Evasion a bit, because I'm wearing such heavy armor. I kill this guy, it should be fine. Yeah, it doesn't bind up the Spriggans. It would bind up a wasp if I'd have killed the uh, Spriggan and turned into a wasp. Alright, let's go down. This is the last level of the swamp. We'll see how many Hydras I get in here. Uh, the high armor class is helping, but I definitely notice I'm still taking some damage from those Hydras. I do have fire with this right, good. Because otherwise I'd be dangerously low in health from one of those fire breaths. Alright. Oh, multiple hydras. Um. 
It's kind of sad to even fight them, but I might try banish this one. And this one, actually. Yeah, I'm kind of getting worn down. Um, so it doesn't look too far from the other staircase, so I guess it's a little bit of distance. That, hmm. I really don't think I'm putting on a flaming weapon, but I guess I won't for now. Demon Blade is nice because it makes my other weapon attack faster as well, because uh, it's the average attack delay. Getting me to a 0 0.8 attack delay. I don't know. I kind of like, uh. I like everything's reasonably fast. Hmm. <laughs> I guess I was on a fiery themed head and ending here. I don't think there's a fiery themed like uh Linnaean Hydra, so should be good with that. Also, I don't think the enemies are mainly really fire themed. I mean, apart from these fire dragons, right? They mainly still just hydras, of course. Um. Oh. Oh, I got into the 17 heads. Okay. I don't know if I banish this one as well. Uh oh. Okay. Why does the helmet? It's a plus one helmet. I feel like I've got one of those on. I got a, yeah, plus one helmet, literally. Uh, that's too much stuff. I gotta stop myself. I think I might start a teleport. I think of like God ability, but I think it's so oh, that's not where I want that teleport to put me. I might start another one. It's worried about this guy, which unfortunately it's got quite a bit of willpower, so trying to banish it is not working very well. Um I think I did just banish it though. Yeah. Come on, give me some peace and quiet for a little while. Yeah, uh that might be far enough for the teleport. Alright, good. Got my health back, and I can see you in a quiet over here. But I won't look at it, my swords are pretty good, so I don't really need another one. Certainly don't need the scimitar. A oh, plus 14 plate armor. Man, okay, so... Uh, AC would decrease by 1.4, and EV would increase by... 4, but my resist would absolutely tank, so I can't really do that one. The manual... I think the manual of throwing is probably the way to go here. Well, am I still trading that one? I... Why did I stop at 15.5? Oh, I am still trading. Like, it should be anywhere near my beta type, but it's always good having a throw against a backup. Yeah, because I can't, like, dual wield throwing weapons or anything, so I don't get any special Coughlin bonuses. Alright, well, I guess I'm back to the vaults, right? Um... I thought I would go to the Elven Halls, but then I'm definitely getting banished. Or I could go to... Yeah, I think it's time for the vaults. He has Saint Roka. What's the Deadly Accurate title from? Uh... Isn't that a throwing title? Surely it's not my highest skill. I guess it is. Oh yeah, it is too. Because it just equal the long blades. Alright, so I can get... Get a little bit more fighting. Armor is probably worthwhile. I might get a little bit of that one as well. Because I'm wearing gold dragon armor, which is very heavy. So I do get a big bonus from trading it up. Oh wait, silver javelins? I should go grab that one, those ones at some stage. Uh... Okay. I'm actually gonna mirror this guy up. Oh, doesn't work quite as well as I'd like. 
I might be able to hide by my mirror or something. Oh, 30 health. Um, Gotta drink a healing potion. Okay, I think this is under control, but that was not a very good fight. Oh, do give me the silver gems. Okay, so I can't really swap the cloak. I don't need the shield. The tablet is just like sitting around. Um, it becomes useful. It's a three evasion moment, yeah, where everything just hits me. I was hoping the armor class could do something, but the three evasion certainly cuts. It's a lack of strength, I guess. I could get a little bit of strength to level up. I'm not sure if it makes any sense or not. Um, it went down with my damage, but it might just be worth it to get the armor a little bit less encumbering. My damage is pretty good, so I might want to just try and get the evasion. Oh, whoops. Definitely want to be back here. Alright, and it's also a lack of shield moment as well. Because, uh, yeah, this character's defenses are they're something, but they're not amazing. Ugh. Mm. You know what, I might just banish this guy that's like sealing my staircase, there we go, that makes it a lot easier for me. I might just go down another staircase, I mean it's one that I've gone through a decent amount of the creatures, but they're definitely still coming along. Man, it really is these trolls that are good at doing damage to me, I guess it's a, uh, yeah, the no evasion, no shield. Uh, I'm a bit worried about like eggs to who are here. Um, can eggs to who see invisible? Because I can't get the willpower, but I might at least be able to go invisible or something. Oh, they can't see invisible. Um, fifty percent of that power paralysis is what's glaring me in the face. There, I don't like that at all. I can make it even bigger by reading a scroll of vulnerability. <laughs> this is questionable, but I'm going to read a scroll of vulnerability and then pop out the banishment. Right, 50% chance. There we go. I think that's like the second time I've done that with a creature that can paralyze me because I did that with Rupert as well. Oh, hey there, Spectral Axe wielding Hysterion. Uh. But he's got a spectral axe, so I might just bring him into like a little corridor. Also, can I soften him up with a banishment? Hey, blew himself up with electricity. Well, that works for me. I'm certainly not gonna stop blowing himself up. Alright. Because unlike him, I actually do have some resist to electricity. I'm trying to think of what like, this character needs the most right now. Um, I really do feel like defense is maybe the answer to that. So when I reach 20, level 21, I'm definitely going to get strength, see if I can pull that dex up a little bit, see if I can get a little bit of dodging. I'm not really sure if I can. I mean, I can train a little bit of um, more armor skill as well to go with that. So we'll see. Do I really want to... Uh, I guess I move back. I just gotta say, I don't really want to move from where I was, but I was on fire, which is not ideal. Can I just banish Donald as well? I mean, I feel like I'm setting all the uh, uniques here to the abyss, but that works. Just as long as I don't get sent to the abyss. Oh, let's just step back a little bit. This is not good. Ooh. I bet you don't get experience. Um, you do these days. You didn't used to get experience. Man, this is questionable. 
I might just pop some butterflies because this is definitely questionable. Ooh, okay. I think I do a healing potion, but this is not ideal. I'm gonna try to teleport, but from behind butterflies. Okay, it did catch up to me, unfortunately. Can I get to a staircase up? Okay. This guy's a whole oh, skull of willpower, apparently. Uh, but if it's at max view, also look at max view distance. Why has it got so much willpower? Do these deep health annihilators just naturally have that much? Alright, well, I guess I'll uh, do a vulnerability on it and then banish it. Before it kills me with a crystal spear. <laughs> um, man. Oh, they made it so the many little quality of life improvements in the game seems a lot better for newer players. It certainly does. Like, uh, there used to be a lot of confusing things that didn't make a lot of sense. I mean, I like the little things that make sense, but the, the confusing ones that don't make a lot of sense, I'm ha happy to see go. Alright, I was going to get strength, see if that helps. There's going to be a little bit of evasion. I was going to get a little bit of dodging. Um... Oh, I'll try 10. Maybe that's too much. But if I'm getting armor and skill at the same time, I'm able to pull those defenses up a little bit. That's also the wrong staircase. Okay, can I just get out of Box of Beasts? Back up a little bit. Because again, I'm getting like really beaten up rather fast. Uh, it seems to be a pattern with this character. I'll just bring one of these guys up. I know these guys are like casing, not biting each other, but they're usually not quite that much problem. Do you have to dual wield the goggles? You don't have to. Theoretically, you can use a shield and stuff. Um, but they've got like bad aptitudes and other things. And I mean, you might as well dual wield if you're a goggler because they're the only people that can, right? I feel like it's like fairly well balanced that dual wielding it actually is one of the things that you would want to do. Hmm, don't confuse me. Pull it in close for the f nice little door. Uh The only problem with dual wielding is trying to get like two weapons in charge and it doesn't usually happen. But hey, there's two more enchant weapons, so I can get this up to a plus seven. Definitely getting up there in terms of enchantment level. Uh, plus six plate armor or whatever. I've seen my fair share of highly enchanted plate armor. That's not even some of the highest enchanted stuff I've seen. Oh, what's up with this guy? Distortion. Might just banish it. Ah, uh, no, distortion isn't too bad. If I get sent to the abyss, it's just piety to get out. I don't think it's too bad. This guy's gonna, like, confuse me, and it's gonna try to turn me into, like, a wisp or a plant or something. Oh, those gold dragon scales. It definitely makes sense that I tried to get some, some defense of these gold dragon scales, and also the, yeah, the armor's not going to do much, like the plain armor and stuff. Enchanted? Wait, that looks like something from the flea market? Enchanted armor? What does it even do? Plain armor relative to strength and dex and stealth. I mean, stealth on plain armor seems highly questionable. How many characters are actually going to be able to get, like, stealth? While well, using plain armor. Uh, preserve that guy was a shapeshifter. There we go. That's probably... No, that's the shapeshifter. Oh, you mean compliant to my scales? Yeah. No, these are... Uh, especially since I've enchanted these up a lot. Hey, this vise. Um... How hard would it be to get Vi's going in this plate armor? I reckon it'll be fairly hard. I'm not sure if it's worthwhile. I'm not even plate armor. This is golden dragon armor. Um. Hmm. You know what? I might just 
Had these guys some roots. Uh, not move back very effectively. Hmm. Oh, maybe I should have run a tier no one's fight. Um Although that just says these guys step back from me, so I could have done more running if I wanted. Ooh. Oh nope, and heavy again. I'm gonna drink this healing potion. That's not very good. I'm pretty low in health now. I'm gonna try and badge it. Wow. <laughs> Okay, got a tiny bit more evasion. Maybe that will help. Up to five evasion. But yeah, definitely got to keep going with that one, I think. Oh, hey, Bone Dragon. I don't think that was too bad, at least. Oh, there's another one with another pack of trolls after it. Yeah, uh, there's enough, uh, enough trolls in the, in the vaults here. One, uh, one lifetime's worth of trolls, I think. Alright. Crap, that makes sense, because I did see... What was there? I saw some sort of, like, undead guy, Bone Dragon. Should do tend to guard the crap. It's better than to be guarded by a curse skull or something. At least for most characters. I guess maybe if you're an undead character. No, even for like an undead character, like a ghoul or something, a curse skull can still be quite bad. Um. Alright, level three. I could just go to the oven halls. I mean, this is an option. I don't feel like it would be any tougher because they don't really have great ways of getting up to enemies, right? Not like I can advise or something, so yeah. Ooh. I think I can banish Jory, which is a bit of a problem here. Um I think I can erupt. I'm just hoping there's somewhere I can back up. Now, oh, what just mesmerized me? Was it Jory? Yeah. Gotta drink him by and maybe try and find him. Maybe. So it looks like he died anyway, so I didn't really have to worry about trying to find him. Uh, if I can just hide in this room until, like, uh, you know. I gotta say, until all those guys are gone, but that might not be an option. Woo. Hey, Marjorie! She doesn't badge up so easily. I might badge up her guys, though, like an elephant, maybe? No, that doesn't badge so well either. I might start the teleport. Um, I'll try and badge the elephant, but it's like, oh, it's 20%. It's not going to happen. All right, how do I deal with her? Can I, like, bring her upstairs or something? Because <laughs> that would be kind of nice. Uh... I might just get my health back. Uh, dude's just gonna stand there, isn't it? Oh, now let's get back spectral. Okay, I might just find the staircase. Oh, no! Okay, that's not gonna work. I can do a uh, butterflies. And then I can just go to... Whoops, that's not quite the right path, but it's getting me there anyway. I can go to the staircase. Yeah, that guy mining itself up was uh, definitely a problem. I should get... There we go. Get rid of the guy. Actually, I don't think it mined itself. I think another one of these guys mined it. Whew. <laughs> Oh, come on, cancel up. It's, I think it just instantly started recalling again. 
Okay, so what I can do with Marjorie, now that she's on her own, I can get her with a vulnerability. Uh, okay. Oh, banished. Excellent. All right, let's do the same with the elephant. Let's get it with the vulnerability. 60% banish. There we go. Also, they're like a uh, creatures that accompany her can be like just as tough as her. Uh, it's even worse if it's a searing wrench. That's pretty nasty. But uh, the elephant's a little bit better. How many vulnerability scrolls do I have? I'm down to just two of them, but this is probably one of the games where they'd be most useful. Uh oh. I think I can just kill this guy. I feel like I have a lot of health on this character. In fact, yeah, it's definitely the fences that feel like they're lacking this game. Uh. Tag feels perfectly fine. They got us a chart armor I can put on. Get my helmet or my gloves. Um, I actually swap the helmets. I don't know if it makes any sense, but I guess I will. It just gives me more intelligence whether I'm going to use that or not. I don't know if I will, actually. Uh, I got the enchant weapon that I can... I'll keep it going on my heavy weapon. I think that's a good idea. Um, I just got the brown weapon. I don't think I need that one. I've got heavy and I've got... Pain. You know what? I might try to rebrand the pain. This could become worse, but we'll see. Ooh, Vampuric. That could help. Yeah, we'll see if that helps or not, but it sounds good. Vampuric's usually good. Okay, got teleport. Got oh, charm weapons definitely needed. I think I'm getting low on the um, on the butterflies. I think I'm getting low on all that stuff. Yeah, definitely the teleport. Uh, charge. I'll max out my primary weapon. I think, I'm not 100% sure, but I think this is helping. Let's go to the Elven the Halls now. If I get banished, it's fine. It's just going to cause piety, although, to be fair, my piety is looking a little sad right now after doing the vaults. Uh, any resist I'm missing in here? I've got the cold resist, I've got the resist light, I've got the resist poison. I think I've basically got everything except the willpower. All right. Do I have a javelin? Because this is like a perfect spot for it. Because I can... That's a summon or summoning the quark sack? I hope so. Because I want to get rid of that one. Yeah, it is. Uh... Well, this certainly doesn't feel like easier than the vaults, I don't think. That's okay, I guess. Um, although I think this vampiric weapon is feeling good. Oh, I got a permafrost rupture. That's a spell that I definitely won't be using in my heavy armor. I mean, unless I was a uh, dwarf or something, it's pretty hard to get the high level spells and mid level spells going in. Gold dragon armor. No, I like the dwarves like spellcasting and heavy armor thing. It seems kind of appropriate to dwarves. Uh, not being able to walk through the clouds, such a shame. I used to be able to do that like uh, when I was doing the lair. What's that guy wielding? Just a great mace, right? Good. Just making sure I am wielding the Dark Maul or something terrifying. I'll switch to K and cast all the spells. I mean, it would certainly help cast the spells. Um, shame that Manifold is holding forth though anymore, otherwise that would actually be a somewhat reasonable plan. Okay. Oh, the Identify is like probably useless now, I think. Maybe. No, it's not. Uh -huh. 
It's got the experience and cancellation to go. We'll see how long they'll stay to get, though. They might not ever find the experience. What's the fetishist title coming from? Evo oh, evocations. At least there's a plus three aptitude, so I haven't been wasting too much ability on that, but, um, sure, let's not get quite as much of that. So get the... Get the fighting. Get the armor. I don't think it's worth getting the dodging right now. It made a little bit of difference getting some dodging, but... Oh. That confusing me. I'm running all these curing potions, guys. That's a problem with the character that uh, never gets more powers. They do go through quite a few of the confusion potions. No, oh, cancellation potions, I mean. That air elemental that was the uh, one that was giving the short duration paralysis, those are always a problem. Oh, man. I do need to do the whole of Blades of this character, but I don't think it's going to be, like, super easy or anything. Just it does get the whole charm weapons, which is something I probably want. Alright, do the rest of the level first, just in case I had to do some teleports and stuff. Not that they're very good at getting you out of the whole of Blades, but still. Do I need magic for anything? I guess I do actually for my god powers. I definitely need the haste. I actually do need the curing this time around. Oh, I might even grab the... I don't even know if I need the attraction. But I'll close the shop out. Is it a bad shop? Yeah, because it's sold all the stuff. It's kind of funny how that happens. I feel like the, the potion or scroll shops are often the most likely ones to uh, sell all their stuff. Definitely those uh, consumable shops. Okay, so, um, Chud, uh, well, I mean, it's gotta be the whole demon blade at the moment. In fact, I can drop those flaming scimitar. I probably, well, I can probably deal with hydras if I beat them now. I got rid of the main bulk of them anyway. In fact, I never even used the flaming whip while fighting the Hydras, because I'll slow down swap. If Kogons could quickly swap their weapons, I totally would have, but yeah. I do a banish mode. I hope I don't get banished. Actually, it's not too bad if I get banished, right? Or is that me doing the banishing? It could be me doing the banishing. Just as easy with this character. How's the damage anyway? So I do 67 my primary weapon and 31 on my backup weapon with 0.8 attack delay. So in total that's like 98 damage, double checks up because so that's not bad. This is why like Manifold Assault used to be so uh, good with Conklin's but it was a 4th level spell because they had super high damage output. Oh, uh, is that just a uh, EOS? Okay. Uh, I think I just attacked this guy. Ooh. Alright. Uh. Got to back out to the staircase and just take any balls of draining that uh, headed my way. Uh, okay, so there's Eos, of course. Leather on positive energy. That ring of fire just resist negative decks would have been really nice, but not for me. I don't wear rings, unfortunately. Of the obligatory menace deck, yup. I don't even think Manus can spot any, and I still have to check that it's not Manus. Uh-oh, it's time to teleport out. Yeah, lots of, lots of nasty summons. I might just try to do some of the rest of the level before I head into this general area. Is that a jewelry shop? One of the kind? 
plus eight dex ring. I mean, I've seen some better stuff. Wait, is that a resist mutation ring? That's kind of funny. It's not every day you see one of those, but the one of a kind rings can have properties that you don't usually get on rings. Are there more jewelry shops? I mean, I guess in theory, a jewelry shop can have a form, right? Oh, no, this one's dead, though. Book of weapons? That one, what does that even do? Dimensional balls like two keepers dance mystic blast. All right. Sticky flame, project ball, lightning. Do I even care about any of these books? I feel like I don't. That's actually a good choke point. If I can keep things coming to this choke point, that would be nice. Oh, I can't. <laughs> A lot better than kind of the awkward one that I've got here. Because uh, I can kind of fight the creatures one at a time, which is definitely helpful. But I might just kind of bring a lot of guys back to this. What's on the ground here? Just another rig? I guess that makes sense. Elves do like their rigs. It's got an amulet of regen and willpower. Both things they need, but things they can't get because it's an amulet. Um, this is also a really bad spot to be in. I might start another teleport. Alright. What else do we get? Oh, got another good old death mage. That's a quarter stuff. It can theoretically wear that, but I don't think it's worthwhile. Alright, this uh, rapier of venom. Not really quite the right sort of thing. I mean, I can kind of cross trade, I guess, with rapiers. It might be alright, but I don't think so. Hey, hey, chart, uh, chart weapon's exactly what I want to see. What else have we got here? Dragon's cool, fireball, cross fear. Nothing I can actually cast. Bombard, Cloak of Stealth, Staff of Ice, a bit of Fire, a Staff of Earth, Summoning. And Staff of Summoning is actually kind of impressive if you're a summoner, because you don't see a lot of those around. But I think I'm done here. Um, any gloves? No. <laughs> Unfortunate. I guess I just go to the depths now. Oh, there's a caravan? That sounds alright. I do have the, the whole um, revelations. Then, of course, there's plenty of locations here because. Uh, could be that one. Could be that one. I'm not sure, actually. Some of those are probably just the entrances to hell or something. That's usually the case. Hey, the, the uh, vampiric draining is getting a good chance to do stuff. We're going to head down this way, I guess. Okay. Oh, I actually blinded things. I feel like the auto dazzle stop doing much. This is a distant bell. Is this distant? I feel like a lot of these are very distant, so it's so oh, well. <laughs> I can teleport. So I guess I'm not gonna find out if it was that one for a little while. Um and I might go check out the close by one. It's, no, it's gotta be a hell entrance. Yeah, there's no way that it isn't a hell entrance because it's surrounded by like uh cosinus themed walls. I I can just fight my way straight back, I think. Hey, this is it. This is exactly where I need to be. And the fire's not gonna spread to the area where I currently am, it never does. Do I need the boomerangs? I guess so. I'll drop my old no, I keep the dots of this bustle. I like those boats, but they give me no fire resistance for the mod. Um Drop the polymorph. I guess I'll drop the identified chart weapon. Noise torment. Sure, that'll do. Probably drop the brilliance as well if I wanted. But anyway, let's check out what there is. So the cloak of stealth. Uh, I'm not massively keen on that one. Scale mail plus uh seven scale mail. It's not gonna work. Plus my gloves. Hold up. I feel like my gloves are like useless, right? Oh, here's some potions. So I can grab those. Haste, haste, haste. Cure and cure was lignification. They were all good. I don't need a demon blade. Alright, well. Oh, 
was gloves, right? I really hope so. Yeah, it was the gloves that were useless. Uh... Right, well, let's do everything I need. Let's just get out of here. Oh, they should put special treasure in Abyss 607? Uh, maybe they should. <laughs> Instead of having it just be like a dairy... I mean, it's kind of there to just punish you for um, trying to, like, scale Abyss for experience, I think. That's kind of their whole point existing. Of course, then people go there for treasure. But then... I don't know, it kind of defeated its purpose of being, like, anti uh abyss scumming. To be fair, I feel like the tedium of abyss scumming is kind of anti abyss scumming anyway. But I guess that doesn't stop everyone. And it's kind of good having, like, tedious things not be the optimal things, because then... If you're, like, struggling to win the game, you have to do the tedious things, and that's never a very good experience. Okay, I meant to throw some boom rings. It doesn't really matter. Well, there's a good old frost jet. It's actually kind of funny, like, the tournaments is a batter, not a batter, this is the exploration category. And one of the places you have to explore is, like, Abyss 7. And uh, that's one of the ones that, like, people often don't end up going to. Because it is pretty rough. Uh, Alright, Mara. Get next to me. I'm surprised he hasn't decided to... Oh, there he goes. Doing his mirroring. One of the Mars is almost dead, but... Is it real? No one knows. No, it's not. Okay. <laughs> a lot of bars. I might just go uh, chill upstairs for a little while. Get my health back. Uh... There we go. Real bar said. It's got a vampire demon blade. I can dual wield the vampire demon blades, but unfortunately, the. Um... I've been charging up my other one. It'd be kind of funny, dual wielding vampiric weapons, but no. Uh, it's pile driver. I know that one got buffed, but I don't think I'm going to grab it. I don't know, I really don't feel like I'm going to get into the spells of this character, actually. A deep bush treasure would make a bit more like a ziggurat diving? Yeah, that's true, because you can kind of like, uh... You can kind of like, uh, like... Doing buses for not the best ziggurats for like XP and stuff. Not that it's generally worthwhile because they're like tough enough that at that point you're kind of already heavily into the end game. I'm confused again. I'm glad I bought some more of these curings. So fine. All right, let's back up again. I don't know about these Coglins. They're, like, not terrible, but they're also... They do definitely suffer from being fragile. I guess it's kind of a fair trade-off if they're going to do huge damage that they should be really fragile. Um... Oh, Modern Deep Abyss is also very lethal. They can put trades down there now that no one would go down there. Yeah, I guess that's true. I was actually trying to, like, survive Abyss 7. I've had characters that can, like, live in Abyss 7, but they tend to be a bit fancy. Oh, spells are less powerful? Who cares? It also makes me easier to cast, like, if I was to get spell casting, I mean, that would not be a terrible thing to have. Um, I seem to remember, I mean, the character I'd surviving was actually a Megazin character, <laughs> just, like, casually wandering around Abyss 7, because they had, uh, they were a human, I think, was the good old exploration healing, so I just move a bit of my health and magic would go to full, and then I'd cast a few spells to clear out the creatures, the movement, cast a few spells. Uh oh, I could get paralyzed here, but there's not much I can do about that. I haven't even found the enlightenment. Well, any more enlightenment. I did have some early on. Mm, even the blinking's 100% failure. Alright.
Uh, actually, that's kind of a funny thing with these conglomerates. You know, there's like, uh, oh, I can't really fly very well because there's like all the lava and stuff. Well, I, I can't fly because um, I want to dig here because they can't like wear the rings and stuff. One of the trader throws gives you like a ring of flight and then some shops on the other side of water. And conglomerates are just have to be really sad because they can't get across. I right, take care of the fragile. What does it actually do this day? It's a status effect that causes victims to take 50% more damage from a thing. Post resists. Post AC. Right. Huh, it used to be 30%. This actually buffed it quite a bit. That makes sense, though. So it's kind of like, uh... It's kind of like you're giving everything might now, I guess. Although that might be 50% before, um... I see, ooh, I've been slowed. I gotta just move out to this guy so it doesn't orbit destruction me. No, because that definitely used to be 30%. I'm pretty sure. Unless I miss miss remembering, but I'm pretty sure it was. It actually kind of does, does make sense to buff it, but it's actually quite buffed right now. Um. Oh, this area is uh, some, like, mock tomb area. I definitely got to do the rest of the level before I go in there. I'm not even sure it makes sense to go in there. Because there's, like, a raw mummy and stuff. You know what? It probably doesn't. I think I just go downstairs. Now, oh, so many shape <laughs> All right. Do you trade dodging ever on a Conklin? I tried on this one. I mean, I... Guess you could go light armor, but yeah, definitely carried with this heavier, um, heavier armor on. It doesn't really make much of a difference, unfortunately. I kind of just based on, like, does it actually make much of a difference? I mean, my dex is good, but it's just not enough strength to make that actually really work out, unfortunately. I may need to train a little bit more later on, but definitely armor is more of an advantage. Yeah, poor strength would be a bad idea, unfortunately. I mean, 70 strength is not, like, terrible, but I'd rather have, like... I don't know, I feel like you need, like, 20-something strengths to kind of make the... Gold Dragon Armor not give a huge penalty. Uh... How many potions of resistance? Just out of curiosity, how many I've got? I've got six of those, that's actually pretty good. I'm gonna need those to get through the, um... What am I trying to say? To get me through... Zod, I guess, with the orbs of fire? Alright, good. Go to the, uh, shift out of the Coronian one. The rest of these guys should be fine. Just, uh, find them in the corridor, which is the perfect spot to be fighting them. Do I have enough armor because of that guy doing L's, uh, Lina's... No, what is that? Lee's Rav Deconstruct often doesn't do any damage. No, I feel like it's just probably kind of variable damage. I just got really lucky and I didn't do any. Alright, well, let's uh, round this off. But I've only got... Is it one rune, two runes? I need to come back and get my slime one. Not slime, what do I say? My uh, swamp one. Hey, uh, Sally! How's it going? How's your day been today? What do I need? Here wounds, definitely. Probably mine. Yeah, mine's pretty good. I, mean, I can buy a lot of things. I don't really need the brilliance right now, so I might just grab. I, mean, I might just grab basically everything else apart from the brilliance. Um, my goodness, mana. Um, well, it should matter. I'm that close to the end of this level. All right. I gotta decide on the third route, don't I? I mean, I think. Can't banish the royal jelly. I think I'm gonna try the slime pit, so. Um, not sure that's the right idea. Oh. <sighs> These guys are gonna be a pain. Oh. 
As long as I don't get them the same time as other creatures, so it should be fine. Um, still don't have any of those portions of willpower, though, unfortunately. Oh, please let me upstairs. I don't like to look at that staircase. I might go try and find another one, actually, I think. Um, one that doesn't have so many jellyfish trying to paralyze me and get me and stuff that go down. Okay. I don't think the eyeballs are confused are too common in here, right? Right? And go the runs. The runs are going well. So he finished off a character I had from before. They were a minotaur that punched people really hard. I tried some mummies, but they just got nowhere. Uh, but then I went on to this conklet, and it seems to be doing pretty well. Uh, what skill do I want right now? I kind of tempted on more of those blades. Um... What, am I just going for god title? Probably. Might want to make the end of the abyss, uh, enterable, but if, once I enter the abyss, there's just going to be endless uniques around me, because I've sent so many uniques to the abyss. It's kind of ridiculous at this point. I think two more distortion swords would be, would be way more appropriate. I mean, I'm, yeah, I could try doing a distortion sword. I'm kind of happy with my, uh, vampiric draining one. I want to do to me. Ooh, willpower. Nice. Uh, body sometimes degenerates. That, that is actually overall positive. Uh, freedom for jellyfish granted. Do I have infinite eyeballs? It seems like it. No, I definitely uh, swapped the staircase from one bad thing to another. Please don't strip away my willpower guy. Yeah, I'm not really good at these boomerangs, I don't think. Because I don't really have much strength, which is a little bit of a shame when it comes to using boomerangs. Okay. Good old dispersal traps. The problem with this uh, staircase up is I have no idea where it leads. <sighs> I do enjoy the infinite jellyfish and the infinite eyeballs. At least they weren't both at the same time. Oh no, the, the areas are split up. I was hoping I could like pop one of these open with my um my thing, my corruption. Hey, Royal Jelly, um, I think banishing would be a terrible idea. <laughs> I'm gonna try Corrupt. Alright, um... I get rid of the guy that's engulfing me. It's almost killed the royal jelly. I got a javelin, I think. Alright. Um, I, I think I'm fine here, but I'll do a teleport just in case. Because there are still quite a few things coming along. Including some of my own dudes. Alright. They got a manual of ice and a manual of axes, neither of which are the skills I actually use. It's a little bit of a shame. Um, what do I want? Minus 12 corrosion. That actually does matter. I've got to teleport out. I don't think I get a cancellation when I land. I hope I land so we're good. Um, minus 14 corrosion? Oh, that leads back to... I'm gonna banish this guy because I'm so corroded up. I don't think I can damage anything right now. Actually, you know what? I can probably ban. Oh, I can't banish these eyeballs. That maybe I can. I don't know. Oh, if you banish him, the vault stays locked, right? Yeah, it does. So you have to go into the abyss and track it down and kill it that way. At least that's what I've heard. I don't think I've actually banished it myself. Thankfully, um... Oh, you can corruption open it? You can corruption open it. Um... Unfortunately, my three, like, uh, treasure vaults, or four of them, or whatever, are spread around. So I could probably get the rune doing that, but I wouldn't be able to get the rest of the treasure. Also, I got three enchant weapons somehow? I should just max out the sword. Oh, I don't need to brand on here. Well, not quite max out. It's one away, but it's getting pretty close. Boost the stealth. I got two of the really good mountain boots. 
What a dude to be. Bodies falling apart. The second level that one generally does matter. Oh, there's another rival? Come on. <laughs> oh, I still get to enchant something, right? I get to either my helmet or my gloves. I might do my helmet. Uh, speaking of helmet, there's a sea invisible one there. Did I? I did have to see invisible, so I don't actually need that one. Okay, that's good. Anyway, I finally got my rune. I think I'm just ready to go to... Oh, get out of here. Probably just ready to go to Zot. Uh-oh, it's the jellyfish again. Uh -huh. Right. Yeah, I mean, I could go to the crypt or Zot, and I guess I'll go to Zot, see how that one goes. I'm level 24, so... I'm... Oh, I could go get myself another rune. I could go to uh, do, um... You know what, I might actually go do Vaults 5. I'm not sure it's a good idea, but it does get me XP, and it does get me a rune. I don't mind another rune. Alright, let's read the teleport, go down. I might actually might up as well. And the, the whole um, vampiric draining is pretty handy in here. Yeah, especially with a bit of might on it. Whoa! What just tormented me? This dude's got the sound of torment. Okay, I guess I just gotta kill this dude. Um. Might do a little bit of healing. Doesn't really help that much. Ooh, my health is looking low. Um, I might actually... Oh, the butterfly doesn't work, does it? I don't really like Vault 5 of these defenses. Yeah, I mean, it was going well until I get tormented. I don't have a Vile Flood, of course. I don't have a Scroll of Silence, but, like... Really? Oh, this is the most questionable thing ever, but I'm gonna read it. And follow it up with a healing potion. Okay, um, should have put this haste on earlier, I think, actually. I failed to vampire drain these guys. I might just do another healing potion, but I'm not sure that will do that much. Um, I mean, this guy latched onto the side of me is not great. So I got the haste going right, good. Helping me uh, get some health back at least. Yeah, that was definitely a questionable way in. Man, I mean, I can't really use the Sandra Torment on this character, but actually, maybe I could. Let me go look at that one. I know it's like a mason of flail, so I don't have any skill in it, but it would still be probably worthwhile using if I could. No more Sandra Torment, a very net act moment. <laughs> oh, it sure is. 30 damage, 1 attack delay, so I need 15 males, oh, 16 mace and flails, hmm. I don't know if that's, uh, worth getting. How's the damage of my 130-something or 70 of the heavy one, of course, but the heavy one's gonna be higher because it's attack delay, it's not good. I don't think it's worth trying to get going, but it's definitely lethal in the hands of enemies. All right. How do I bring up that evasion? It's just not going up. I guess, it's, yeah, it's just lack of strength. Might get a little bit of strength on my last level up, see if they can get me some evasion. I feel like my damage is fine. My defenses are not, though. <laughs> and it's been very noticeable that these defenses are not fine. Should polymorph itself soon or, or not. <laughs> Doesn't really matter, although Orbs of Destruction can still do a reasonable amount of damage. Oh, I've got to remember. Oh, hold on. I might have been a mistake coming in here with no willpower. Um. Because I actually can't really get willpower. So if I get marked, I'm in big trouble. Uh, one little bit of might. 
I think I want a little bit of haste here as well. This is actually not looking the best. Dude's got a... Dude's got a reach weapon? Alright. Um... Good, I think the health is actually beginning to go out there, so we've got the... I want to be able to grab those some of an artifact on just fire this chainmail or something. Not even that good. The rare vaults five door. Yeah, you do get these little rooms occasionally that have the doors. Um, they're actually quite handy. They make nice little choke points as well. Oh, see, not even a real rune. After all this work, there will be a real rune in here somewhere though. Uh, broad, I don't really care about the broad eggs of pain. That's unfortunately not some sort of sword. Even if it was a sword, I probably wouldn't care about it. You know, I've now got my two head cannons. and obelisks. It looked like a head cannon. Oh, well, it's auto dazzling, which looks uh, fairly similar, I think. It's trying to auto dazzle it. It's just so rare that my auto dazzle actually goes off. And I don't even really know what it looks like sometimes. Oh, it's got a pole arm, okay. Ooh, I might do a... Silence and step back here, this should be fine. Yeah, that'll stop me taking more damage when I'm silenced at least. Alright. Do I have the rope either? He's only cabbie. It's really funny how, like, a full on orb of fire can't even get through a door. Sometimes you can just close the door on his face. You'd think they could burn them down, but apparently not. Um. Yeah, I don't know what the doors are made out of this game, but they seem pretty sturdy. I mean, they can be eaten by, uh, jellies, right? But I don't think anything else, uh. Yeah, I don't think anything else can destroy them. Well, apart from normal creatures, they can destroy them just by, like, opening and closing them occasionally. So I don't know if they are really sturdy or not, because sometimes they break easily and sometimes they don't. There's a lot of shape in the Vault's Five. I remember that being a thing, though, when I had, a uh, Like, when there was a bug that killed everything apart from shapeshifters after a few hundred tons. I remember there being a lot of shapeshifters in here, and that was really scary because it was really hard to get any XP, so you're really underleveled. So you just kind of had to avoid the shapeshifters. Alright, well, I am done. I don't know if there's anything good. I don't need the gold drag now. This character got some really early. Springer's knife, okay. Short sort of goblin's curse. Oh, I don't want one of those. It might curse me because I'm technically a goblin. Anyway, I think it's just time for Zot now. I was reinforced blast doors disguised as single one doors. They say with like a little explosive of them triggered to sometimes go off when you close the door. Uh, do you have to resist electric, right? Ooh. Sure doesn't feel like it when I've got no evasion. All right. A heavy double sword, call it a quadruple sword. <laughs> In fact, if I could get like a, if I could get two double swords. I could have a full quadruple sword, right? Lindworm, we'll just move up to them. Is that the said I went with a demon blade in my offhand? Alright. I don't think it's been doing fairly well for me. It's not a bad spot for bringing enemies up. I think I might just stick around here but bring some stuff up.
Can I should walk up to me? There we go. Because that's like an axe and everything. In fact, I could probably like magic map these levels, right? Got six revelations, might as well. Um, do I have anything to do enchant? I probably got some gloves or something, right? This. Okay. I think so, but it's uh, it's actually quite questionable. I thought that drag would be fine while well berserk, but again, no defenses. I was pretty, barely stack out the spot. Yeah, it was pretty much perfect. I mean, it did bring it up to a two enemy area. Um, instead of just one enter enemy area, but it wasn't bad. Alright. Might as well max all these gloves. Man, I miss shields. <laughs> what a good chamber angels coglins would be if you weren't able to, like, manifold assault. I feel like they might still be alright, because you'd actually be able to get some evasion, because you have both strands and dags, no matter what you were really spanking into. Alright, well, it's the first level done. Pop a revelation while this guy walks up to me. Oh, Marjo, no, I don't think I actually need this one. Um. Wait, seismic. Can cannonade? Uh, what now? <laughs> I'm still memorize it. It's the seventh level spell. Uh, it's alchemy earth. I definitely got to play an earth elemental, but I didn't like my choices. Is this a replacement for the um blast something? Whatever it's called. What was it? Blast something. The Bombard, is there a replacement for that? Shapes of a trio of alchemical cannons around the caster that drill into the earth beneath them, transmuting the rocky minerals they find there to razor sharp projectiles. Initially created in an incomplete state, each salvo they fire crystallizes more material into their frame. Healing them. Once a cannon has fully assembled itself, recasting the spell will allow you to direct its firepower into the ground, unleashing a powerful seismic shockwave that devastates a targeted area at the cost of sacrificing every cannon in the process. Seventh level spell. That probably doesn't that doesn't sound like a replacement for Bombard. Let me go check. Um no, it's not. All right. Does sound interesting. There was another one as well. There was a um, what is it even called? Mag Magna Vault or something weird. Was another Earth something spell. They always need to be Earth something. All these new spells. Because Permafrost Rupture was as well. All the new Vagon spells. Yeah. Could also do an alchemist if I wanted cannons. That also works. Although, um... I don't have to survive to that point in the game as an alchemist. We should necessarily be bad. This is... Probably worth pulling out some javelins. I might not be the most ideal with javelins, but I'm good enough, I guess. Gotta kill this dude. God damn it, sticking around there, shooting stuff at me. There we go. Oh, it seems expensive without a uh, Sith Martyr of a human to get like a castable or. Yeah, I don't know how much, uh, how good it would be. I mean, I guess I'll have to find out at some stage. Uh, what do I want? The God, I'd probably just like an invocation title. Let's do it. I feel like my skills are like a little bit behind, but I haven't missed out anymore. In fact, I got four runes, so they shouldn't be that behind. Oh, my level doesn't feel behind. I don't know. Better than having to spend them the most optimally or something. New spells that do damage have to, have to be f earth, no, fire earth. Don't you know? <laughs> all, the, all the spells are fire earth. I mean, maybe. But it does seem like every new spell's been, uh, 
been a fire, no, not a fire spell, no spell recently. Oof. Yo, this is actually bad. I was not a good idea, but I'm going to enter the abyss. Um... Do I not have any regen? Because that could be a problem for trying to get my health back. Uh... If I wanted to get the other dudes like a chance to stop being berserk. Oh, I think I'm actually losing health in here. Man, I'm definitely losing health in here. I'm going to drink a healing potion of the pod and hopefully these... I just worried these guys are still going to be mad at me. Yeah, the moths are uh, not. But I'm still really wounded, which is a bit of a problem. Yeah, going to the abyss is such a questionable thing at the moment. Uh, going invisible doesn't help. Might do a haste, but I'm not sure how long it's going to stick around, because this guy can blow it up. Come on, Vampiric Draining. Give me a little bit of health. Okay. Good, I think the haste uh, did get me through that situation, at least. Oh, Magnifold gets strong with multiple casts, but it's level 7? So the costs add up? Right, no, that would definitely add up in terms of magic points, right. Man, I really want to try one of these new spells. It's got to pick out an earth element or something. Um, he said it was like air earth. There were various different kinds of earth. Hmm. I just wonder how like plausible it would be these days to do an earth element that so didn't expect much into conjuration. Because I think they used to expect like probably more into conjuration than they did to us. Um <laughs> Because that's what all the spells did. Well, that might not be true anymore. I'm not sure. I have no resist negative, do I? Uh, which means that guy's going to drain me quite a bit. Because I can't dodge, uh, well, anything. But specifically the bolts are draining. Man... All right, uh, bring this, like, electric guy, there we go, bring it up nice and close, because they're not too bad once they get nice and close. Well, at this point in the game, they're not too bad, they're a bit worse if you're, like, in vaults or something. Um. <laughs> oh, you scared me to the worst floor in the game, it's kind of a bad panic button. <laughs> um... Oh, the Nagata was kind of nerfed by the Abyss changes? You really should just enter, like, Abyss 1? Right, did you always used to, like, enter Abyss 1 or something? Because that would certainly make things a bit better. No, I mean, I feel like maybe if you removed, like, the damage on entering it wouldn't be quite as bad. It's just, like, ending up in, uh... Oh, whoops, no, I threw to my javelins away. That was an accident. <sighs> that was silly. I'm never getting those ones back. Yeah, I mean, maybe if it didn't, like, put you in there and you as you went in, it wouldn't be quite as bad. Um, Because the, the damage it does definitely does matter. Alright. You know, I could try and drag down the Abyssal Room with this character. I don't know. I don't really feel like it. I feel like getting a win with this character, I think. Uh. Oh, janky escape solutions are part of this game's job. Yeah, there. I mean, some of the solutions are janky, but a lot of the escape solutions certainly are. It's a bit like the teleport takes a few turns to go off, right? And the, I mean, the blinking's not janky. That one just like straight up works. Um, 
That's my last thing. Oh, good. Finally, a cancellation. I mean, I might need some of those to get rid of cloud pies or something, so it's always good to have them. Or marks. Or anything along those lines. Uh... That's a good one to go back down. It's okay one to go back down. Though there are a lot of guys with crystal spears waiting, like, just down that staircase for me. I might try another one. Uh, it's a good thing I got the this corrosion, because I'm, well, I do pretty bad with Lee when I get corroded, of course. Um, I should magic map this level, of course. That's a problem with two weapons. Basically, twice the uh, damage reduction. All right, where's the uh, where's the magic mapping there? Hey, good afternoon, Paul Henderson. How's it going? Wait, what is that little emote? A little thinking emote? I don't think I've seen that one before because I only got like seven TV extension recently to see all the emotes. Uh. I appreciate some jank, but a panic button that gets worse over time. Right, the abyss level advances seems pretty sus. Yeah, it does. I mean, I guess in theory I'm meant to get better at, like, surviving the abyss levels, but still, it does seem a little jank that it gets worse as you get deeper into the abyss. Oh, uh, is this okay? Can I just... I can probably just kill this one. I think this is okay. Except this guy can be a log doesn't help. Um, he just let me dig. Ooh, okay, I'm slow with these guys. I hate it. I'm gonna have to enter the abyss, but it's gonna leave me a bit wounded. I'm gonna try and do it like a little bit of Ambrosia and hopefully wait off the slow is what I'm trying to do here. Um, I still slow. Please wear off slow. Hey, there we go. I think I might try another Ambrosia and then leave, I think. Or maybe another one. I just want a bed of pelt. There we go. That's not too bad. Now I can depart the abyss. Cross this guy is taking my joke. Oh, I'm slowed again. Uh, I think the god has got a face of a while. Definitely not. Can I kill this guy? I'm gonna have to unfortunately enter this abyss again. Um, man, that hurts. Hey there, little, little, little god who altar. Right. Nice, got my health back. Okay, I can finally depart, but unfortunately, that's my last going to the abyss. Um, I might be able to get some of these with some fear. Okay. Not terrible. Guys, I, um, hmm, they got lots of things going for them. They've got, like, some haste and stuff. I can, like, quicksilver them, but I might just do this. Yeah, now we can quicksilver them. Find them one at a time. I think this will be all right. Uh... <laughs> well, if it wasn't as bad as it hasting up, sure, I can do that. It's a it's, uh, choice, I guess. Get a god gob. It certainly was, though. That slow from the god gobs was, um... What's well, a big problem? Wow, my party's like completely gone right now. I didn't realize exactly how low that was. Wow. All right then. Unfortunately, I don't have the best fire resist. Although I do have some potions of resist, right? Um, I hate these traps. <laughs> oh, I don't even know. Uh. Can I banish the lich that's no? Okay. Um Put on some haste. Put on some resistance. Okay, the lich wasn't too bad. Less energetic's acceptable. This is my final level. I'm gonna get some strength. See if I can get like get a tiny bit of evasion out of that. Hope that was worthwhile. Um, do I have an alarm trap to go set off? That would be nice. I don't think I do, unfortunately. 
bit of a shame. Because then I could pull a bunch of these guys out of here, but... Alright. Net time, I guess. Do a haste. Do a might. Tell this guy not to be cased up anymore. Oh, not doing a very good job of that. All right, still got my buffs on. Now's a good time to go exploring. Go find all the fire, all frail. Can I live with frail? Um. It's definitely not ideal. Oh, I just lost all my buffs today. Okay. Oh, why don't you out? I probably should have saved him now that was trapped and shouted, but I think you're gonna have to blink back here, otherwise I'm in big trouble. Minus scrolls, I could have to reset that at some stage, but I might just try and yeah, this guy's a few javelins, especially the silver javelins are the ones to go with. Alright, well, I'm fortunately out of silver javelins. Now oh, there goes the minor scroll. Um, I think this is probably still fine. Okay, this guy's gonna catch up to me, but I'm just gonna keep him backing up. And once he gets up to me, I can find it, I guess. Now, smash the door open. All right, let's look at these potions. Uh, the, so I might have minus potions at the moment. I don't. I occasionally teleport next monsters. These are terrible. I'm gonna lose some <laughs> willpower, but I think it's time to reset these ones. What did I do? I still got the frail. I think I lost my helmet. Still got the minus scrolls. I still got the teleport and next monster. So next potion, I guess. That's a lot of red. It sure is. Uh, still teleport and next monster. Still got the minus scrolls. Still got the frail. Okay. Man, these are bad. Got uh, armor fits poorly. That's better. I might try and reset it though, because uh, I do rely heavily on my armor class. Oh, I'll still got it. Some say I should stop with these though. Hey, that looks better. Yeah, there we go. So you got strength, which is whatever. It helps my base, actually. Intelligence, which doesn't really help. We've got AC. Alright, I can put my helmet back on as well. Just worried I'm not going to have, like, enough piety to get a title or something by the end here. Can't remember exactly how much I needed, but I think I did need a little bit. Actually, I can quickly go check on that, can't I? Just, oh, the starting's uh, two pips of piety. That should be fine. Because I think I would have lost my abilities by then anyway, so like... Not too big a deal. Okay. Do a haste potion. Do a resistance. Where did that over fire go? Someone's gonna stand on the Zot trap, so well. I think this is perfectly fine. Uh, what did that guy do to me? Minus teleport. That's actually not what I want to see <laughs> right now. Uh, I think I might still be able to go to the best, but I can't. Anyway, because I don't have any piety, this is... This is highly questionable, actually. <sighs> I'll do a healing potion, but like... Yeah, it's not a good time to have the minus teleport. How is it going to last for? Man, I'm going to drink my last healing potion. I'm going to try and hit some of these with a fear, but it's not going to get all of them. Yeah, I didn't get this guy, but it got most of them at least. I don't think it's going to be able to cancel out my minus teleport. Okay. Uh, cancellation works? Maybe. 
doesn't say there. No, I think it might. Uh, it's not perfect for getting out of here, but yeah, that's a that's an option, I think. Am I so fast? I am good. Hey, the minus teleport's gone. All right. That is, in fact, what I want to see. I've got a little bit more health as well. Problem though, that's the problem with the minus teleport. I do get teleported around, but I think it's actually under control. Oh, maybe. Maybe not. Um... Still can be hit with a fear, I think. How do I get my health back? <laughs> it's a real question here. Fortunately, it's going to be able to catch up to me a bit while I'm walking over the net. Well, uh, it seems to be fine. Next, uh, next go into here. Let's clear out some more things. Let's see. I still got some consumables left, at least. Do I have any? I really. Oh, I do have some enlightenment now. I should maybe be drinking some of those because I lost all the willpower um, they had from mutation. This is a good choke point. It gets all the uh, traps out of sight as well, which is excellent. So, uh, Sismatic? Is that a... Hey, it's a god title of the right kind. So I just got the XP I need to get a god title here. It's nice. Although, do I even have, like, a Faith Ablet? I can't even... Oh, it doesn't matter. I can't even wear it. Okay. Well, let's grab this all and get out of here, I think. So I'm going to have to rely on abilities to reduce my party. Um, can I even banish this dude? No. I don't think I've got any regen to bring my health back either, which is a little bit unfortunate. I do have, like, the health for attacking right, but it's still not ideal. Um, I don't have any healing potions left. I do still have some blinking though, right? I got, uh, five blinking. That's not bad. Blinking's good. I don't think I've got any bros here. I'm pretty sure I used those. How many of these creatures could actually even be affected, um, by vampiric training? I don't think it's a huge amount. I think these, uh, these ones can, the uh, Orb Guardians. I'm gonna try banishing this dude. Alright. Uh, not on the staircase, I might know. Okay. Dude's faster than me. I think it opens doors. <laughs> well, at the very least, it takes the uh, already open doors. Ooh, ow. Um... A box of beasts, this guy, but it's decent size. Okay, I didn't have to use the beast too much, thankfully, but that was a little bit scary. Uh... Probably just dig to some of those staircases, but I will. Let's gonna keep on moving here. I'm dodge level four. I do need to lose the piety, so I'm just gonna try and banish some of these dudes. Agent of Entropy. Alright, I'm getting close to where I need to be. Let's go to wait for something to come along and I'm gonna try and banish it. Uh, which succeeded. I need something that's a little bit harder to banish. There we go. Oh, no, nope, banish that one as well. Hey, Distorted Goblin, let's get out of here. I'm not gonna stick around any longer than I have to. Alright, excellent. New title got. That was, that was a reasonably fun character, but they never felt, like, uh, super tough. It was a three-hour game, so it was, like, a quick game. Um, for four runes as well. But, yeah, it was very much glass cannon, doing lots of damage.